think he was part of the Rebel Alliance or something, and he's currently retired. <laughs> and, well, he doesn't exactly like you guys being here, but was willing to make a deal. Also, he thinks they're all ugly, so... <laughs> I don't remember that being established that he knows we're part of the Rebel Alliance. No, 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 no. You guys learned he was part of the Rebel Alliance. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, he's he said after rebellion, you know, he went here. Yeah. Yeah. That was established, yeah. Okay. Was it ever established why he did? I don't think you guys did you guys ask him why he wanted to be here? My money is that he was a bit of a freak compared to oh, the Ewoks. Oh, uh, he mentioned that he was here. going to retire. Here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We brought him here after the Death Star blew up. Still, my money is on the fact that he bit Anakin Skywalker after all that. What? Well, it would be funny. He bit Anakin Skywalker. Or Luke Skywalker, sorry. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, Anakin, I'm running from the Skywalker. <laughs> It's a ballsy move right there. Yeah. He just, after they have Darth Vader cremated, it's like, it smells like barbecue. <laughs> I mean, his body had disappeared into the forest, but alright, yeah. They literally had a pyre for him. They were just yeah. running in suit. You know that, right? Uh, there was a yeah. body in the suit! No, there wasn't actually anymore. <laughs> mm. Yeah, anymore, because this guy ate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just a master Sith because he ate all the midichlorians. <laughs> that, that's how you become a, a true force power. You know, you eat the other ones. Yeah, it's why Anakin. Okay, but like Smee, I, I believe that Smee would serve Anakin a corpse if it meant that they wouldn't starve to death. Like she seemed like a boss bitch like that. Not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I, I no. I'm actually saying that that's why Anakin is as powerful as he is. That's he why he ate a bunch of force sensitive people. Yeah, that's why Anakin's the chosen one. He ate a bunch of force sensitives. Now moving on. Um, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Mom just had a midichlorian smoothie. <laughs> However, some sand got in it. That's why he hates it. So. Listen, he was right next to a Planned Parenthood. And... <laughs> <laughs> also, I realize this is even funnier when I remember. In the 2003 paper series, Anakin's eating some bugs, and Obi-Wan's disgusted by it, and he says, Master, you always taught me to feed off the living force. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Anakin actually, moving on. <laughs> moving on, actually, now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Unless so, somebody has something funny. Nope. Shut up. We're moving on now. <laughs> <laughs> so Soil and Green is people. No, Soil and oh, Green is somehow. banned. Now. Oh no. <laughs> so chain chain, when you guys weren't looking, pretty much tried to contact his you know, his people, you know, the person he's working for. Uh but R two Y seven freaked out and ran out of there. Uh which ha happening to run into Z, and and still thinking that that Jane was an intruder, attempted attempted to charge shock him, but like Z just like no stop. Uh, Z let Chain call call his people, but then realized how bad of a deal he'd gotten himself in. Uh, <clears throat> and well, uh, the person that they had called up was somebody Z knew in the past. Uh, Santa would have known them too, and yeah, nobody else. Um... <laughs> no Santa would have known them. Huh? You don't want to know them, right? Why would Santa know them? Is there something I don't know about? Uh, do you not recall? Uh, Julemai was literally the one who introduced you guys to Santa. <laughs> Though Santa never Wait, was we were what? talking about Julemai, though, so wouldn't Santa know about Julemai if Julemai introduced them to Santa? No, like, I don't remember if it was like, I think he just, maybe they met, I don't know. We knew each other. Okay. Um, so yeah. Yeah, the a mechanic owed Julemai a favor. Julemai got Santa from uh, the mechanic. Yeah. I just remember. Like a slave or something where they didn't really interact or anything. I guess it doesn't matter. They get caught up, right? So, carry on. Um, 
Z basically wanted to negotiate with them for, you know, what Chain was trying to get and for, you know, like, Boda sales. Um, because, <clears throat> you know, Jewel and I is apparently back and working for the Huts again, and she was in charge of this Boda operation. However, you guys were already aware Merrick is on the way to set up a op. And, yeah, after that, after that, you guys had a hot tub party, though Chain went off being sad about something, and is just in the woods now, I think, with Invisibot following him around, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a, I was doing more recon, my, my basic job. Okay, let's go find more shit. <laughs> and so that is where we currently are. Anyways, uh, do I need Cora, to do any rolls r- Cora, real quick? would have had it off and is just like filing a like fuckload of paperwork. paperwork. Yeah. Uh, uh, what were you talking about there? Talking about there? Um, do, do I need to do any roles since I was scouting out uh, south for any Boda Fields? Uh, no. You wouldn't find it anymore. Okay. Don't need to roll. We have, to roll we have to go pretty far away, right? Yeah, I mean, I went back to where they found me. It was going south from where I once was, where they found me to, to look yeah, to the south. Fields. Isn't any, isn't any of the terrain that you guys had found those two boda fields, and it's mostly either open it's plain or dense jungle close. without any yeah. mountainous region. It didn't hurt to ask because that's what my character was doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just telling you. So yeah. Um, what time is it? Yeah, it was uh, later in the evening when all this is happening, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> any of you guys do anything with what's left of your evening? Or hot tub and bed. Anyone Santa else? is going to try and catch up with Cora. What do you mean? So Cora Q's Cora character Q's is not here. Yeah, right yeah, now. Nick, yeah, Nick, yeah, can't Nick can't make yeah. connection. So, like that, they're off doing paperwork. Is their excuse uh, as well? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, I guess Santa will eventually yeah. get out of the hot tub, and he's going to just work on some more basic repairs for the ship, trying to get his mind busy and occupied with everything that happened. And keep them quiet about the contact that happened because I don't know if that happened. You while... don't know that happened. Okay, then, then yeah, then yeah, he's just going to be doing repairs around the ship because that's what he does when he is that met with emotional turmoil. All right, he's yeah, have yeah. work with it because he is a robot. Yeah. You're going around just cleaning up the usual wear and tear happens every day on the ship. I had to, I was room at one point, like, alright, time to clean the cums. <laughs> time to clean the cums. <laughs> right. Not any new one. Oh, Ivar's not here, it's still part of the routine. Yeah. Just more cum keeps appearing, I gotta keep cleaning it. <laughs> I think it's called ectoplasm at this point. <laughs> boo. Yes, it is boo. I, I actually like that Ew. one. <laughs> It's boo goo. I don't like it anymore. You took it too far. You t- You're welcome. <laughs> See, this is why we boo B to not encourage her. <laughs> if you're really that concerned, it'd be more where I put that rectangle. Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> ah, sorry, excuse you, what? <laughs> I mean, I really didn't have a room to begin with when he first got on the ship. He slept on a couch. What? Yep. Rectangle! And then he fell asleep watching re- Tuscan porn, and Rel came out and shot the TV with a sniper rifle. <laughs> Go towards okay. the dining room. It, yeah. Yeah, it's just Sa- Santa, you just have a UV light, UV light just <laughs> mopping it up. <laughs> okay, dining room, rectangle around the sofa? Yeah. What, what do you mean? Yep. What did you do with the rectangle? What do you mean? That's where he came. <laughs> oh, that... 
Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Didn't know the funny thing up. is, wait, funny that thing just is, Santa's oh. into. That makes so much sense. <laughs> yeah, that's why Santa liked Ivar. He, he was just a cum hose. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why there was an ice ice cubes coming out of the nose. No, <laughs> it's just his nosebleed. Every, every once in a while, there's just a skeptical, clear white <laughs> ice cube. Oh, I wasn't going that far, but jeez. Oh welcome. God! <laughs> All right, back back to this. <sighs> let's, let's get let's get back. Oh God! We're playing the droid thing too much. <laughs> Or not enough. I need an icy stat. I feel like murderers wants to murder us. It's in the name. Yeah. Yep. Technically, that could happen to me at any point in time out in the woods That's with the bots. <laughs> well, no. Also, I could track you down. We live in the same state. Oh shit. Um. I'll be nice. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll, I'll I'll put these numbers in. <laughs> Are those numbers nine one one? I mean, I I nearly doxed Fred one time. Yeah. Oh, that was you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I double check every photo I take now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm mad and actually grateful. I didn't actually do it. I just, I just fucked with him because I could have. There. In the Star Wars chat, you gotta guess in a hundred mile radius from that zip code. If... Wait, did you just? What are you talking about? Wait, did you just dox yourself? Oh no. Oh. I know, I know, kind of where you live. Based off what you've said before. I don't know how many, what was it, government houses they have around areas? Yeah. Government houses in that zip code, done. Uh, 286. Yeah, we can figure that out. I'll say you work at a Taco Bell, right? <laughs> so presumably yeah, you're somewhat near one of them. Yeah. 80 miles in all directions from where I live. They're all in the city. Okay, well there you okay, go. Okay, so he's in a city. <laughs> <laughs> just keep giving us more and more. Yep, everyone, we're gonna go kill Ragnar. Gonna... So would you say you drive on a together? Say... Me and Guns and some possibly Tanner Tannerite buckets fall in the hills somewhere behind me. But hey, who's who's counting? There's hills behind you. Mm, is that enough? <laughs> 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 anyway, anyway, so if none of you are doing anything else with your night. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys. It's Spike's going to Texas. It's a 19-hour drive from Texas. I don't. I, don't, I hate traveling. I'm, that's not even worth it. Fred, hi. Static. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Static. Oh, God, I thought that was me. I muted myself and then I heard it. Mm -hmm. Did it go away? Yes, it's gone. Okay, it's because I yeah. bumped my mic. Yeah. So you guys oh, find a long, a long rest. Find a long, <clears throat> long rest. As is. As they sleep in this toxic way sleep. Before we go to sleep, I'm gonna make yeah. a roll. For what? I don't know, give me a roll to make. Any that can do? Oh yeah, yeah, like a nat 20, right? Yeah, I have a nat 20, I wanna use it for something. Any, any, anything I have to roll for, making something, doing something, researching something. Ha <laughs> having Invisibot find me in a, a hole somewhere, yeah, maybe? That's Invisibot. Invisibot. That'd be It'd Invisibot. have to be there. Yeah. Hmm, did I have anything I needed to do? I didn't need to make anything, did I? Make make up something. <laughs> Let's see if you're creative enough to give me something on the spot. Which no, I know I, you are. So. I, no, 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 no. There, there's something I was supposed to have been doing. I'm trying to remember what it is. I knew. I know there's something. I didn't write it down, though. It was neither researching about weapon stuff, maybe about the Boda stuff. I, I had all that. Did I do all that already? Um, You could see if Chain was lying that he's... Was a clone trooper for the Imperial yeah, Army. Yeah, he doesn't care about that. And you said so something. I threw so it out there. <laughs> mm. so I'll just use it to train so I have the next day. Fuck it, because I have nothing else. 
Okay. <laughs> the last 24 hours. I mean, fuck it. We. Just, I mean, after after we take a after we we hot tub, we go and train there. Okay. Yeah. Which one are you doing? Doesn't matter. I get a 20. <laughs> well, uh, I, you, I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah, my decks one. Only do one of them. The decks one, I guess. So the acrobatics check for an a uh, for uh, an attack, right? Yeah. Or, sure. Why not? An attack using dexterity. Um, uh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You fuck that training droid up. Yeah. Get a five and a fourteen there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If five bar was there, he'd probably just <laughs> fuck the train droid. Hush. Um, well, good goodbye, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's like it's going, it's going past Santa to B. B still like reminiscing about him now. Uh. So, Santa would probably be the first one up, as they have a shorter long rest than everyone else. That's correct. Yeah, so they'd reactivate. Uh, yeah. Um, I just imagine it's the freaking Windows power-up noise. Yeah. What, yeah, what you're... Re yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so shortly after you, re you reactivate, uh, yeah, you hear ship flying overhead. Mm-hmm. Santa's going to take a step outside to investigate. Through the airlock, of course. He's probably having an even harder time sleeping now, because if I made up the thing where, like, oh, because I'm next to Seelan, she's good, it makes me better next to an evil yeah. person. <laughs> You're next to an evil person, so just, like, tossing and turning, having little nightmares. And yeah, it's more like Z just keeps constantly waking up. Like, he has, like, quick nightmares, and then she wakes up. But she mm -hmm. just never gets a whole bunch of sleep, and then when she's awake, she's just like, God damn it!" and then she, like, tries to go back to sleep. And she mm -hmm. just never gets a really good night's sleep, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Sleep longer. She's your sleep paralysis demon. That's a little demon, though. It's in her head. No. Oh. Sleep paralysis PTSD? No, no. It, it, there's actually a voice oh. in her head. She has a she has a ghost inside of her. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. On the fate sheet. Yeah. Okay. Ivar. It's the ghost of Ivar saying, "Hey, you should just fucking kill her already. Oh, no, you wanted to her. kill me. She's just me." <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's her master, the one that taught her all this stuff. Yeah, if Ivar tried getting a disease head, Z would probably actually take an effort to get get rid of him. I, I think Z could get rid of the voice in her head if she wanted to, but she uses him because she teaches. Uh, he teaches him her. It's called a lobotomy. <laughs> I'm sure she can use some magic to get him out of his head, but basically she, she has him trapped in her head. Why is that so funny, though? I kind of used that as a way why he was he basically Z forced him to teach her, because he was like, if, if you don't, I'm kicking you out and you die. And if I die, you die. Oh, me. Well, let's die more. You're stuck here for the rest of eternity. <laughs> You're right, Fred. No, that was really funny. A clone yeah. trooper that thought he was a Jedi. No. <laughs> it's called a lobotomy. One minute. I'm still laughing at that, honestly. Yeah, it's I guess I'd be making my. Oh, yeah, I'd start uh, making Shane, my way back to the that? ship. Yeah. Uh slept out in the woods. Kept hiking. I hours before sunrise. I'd start heading back to the ship. For me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, Sam's going to look out the airlock and see what the ship is. Uh, did you ever see uh, Merrick's ship? Merrick. 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 Are you talking about Santa? That... Did Santa you... ever see Merrick? Uh, wasn't Santa in the bar when we met Merrick? But not the ship. And no. if yeah. no. So, uh, was Santa not with us when we went to that one planet in the unknown region? They did not come with you to use of us, no. Okay, then no, then Santa would not have seen the ship. Yeah. Okay, um... <clears throat> did I keep a picture of that? No, I didn't. But yeah, uh... What you essentially uh, see is... Well, you see a pair of ships. One of them looks... One of them looks to be a freighter, the other one 
a bit of a luxury kind of ship. Are any of them Keat models? Huh? Are any of them Keat models? Keat models? Yeah. What does that mean? No, parakeets. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, apparently that joke was for Ragnar. <laughs> oh, we're referring to a bird. I know. And I got wasn't it laughing, as soon as so. I was like, oh my god. I know, I was like, it took me a second, and then if I heard want, it again. If you want to make a piloting check to identify them, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Running as far away from acknowledging that joke as possible. Thirteen. Okay. <laughs> You're able to you're able to identify the uh, uh, the freighter looking ship. It's a it's a YV eight six five Rory class. Uh, yeah, and but the other one. Birds. Yeah. Okay. But the other one, you haven't seen one of these before. Would I be able to see the ship since I'm walking back to the main the ship? Was the model you said it was uh, YV? YV-865, Aurora. Alright, thank you. Uh, Chain, how far to the forest did you go? Did you just go back to that foxhole you were in when you guys met? Yeah. Okay, you'd be able to see them. Alright. If you, you can make a check to identify them too. See how well I roll. No, nothing. If it was a one yeah. leaf, you was a bird. I know shit. Yeah, you do know shit. You're able to recognize. You're able to recognize the freighter just like Santa did, but you once again you don't know what the other one is. <laughs> the, yeah, there's no point. As soon as I saw the ten, I wasn't gonna waste my defiance. <laughs> mm. right. I'm going to wait until they land and see where they land. They're landing uh, next to your ship, your guys' ship. I will do this though, because I don't know these people, so I'm gonna get up, try to get up behind them just in case there's a, a firefight. Yeah, Santa is gonna hold an action and wait to see who comes out. Well, you know, not prepared for a battle, but ready should one happen. Okay. Not ready, uh, but ready. So yeah, um, not chain. Ready, you're, yeah, uh, chain. You are just, you know dug dug into the tree line. Uh, you know, re doesn't seem like they notice you. You're ready to attack them if need be. Uh, Santa, what, what did you say you were doing? You were just like, hanging out there, right? <laughs> Santa was standing by the airlock a little bit away from the ship, so that way the ship doesn't get damaged. But he's going to be, as soon as they exit, he's going to say, please state your business. Yeah, so the freighter the freighter is the first one to open, and a couple of uh, heavy, heavier-duty land speeders are coming out. Looks like they have some, like a bunch of equipment, equipment on them. Uh, <clears throat> there's a, you know, a couple people, a couple people riding in them. Looks like they're in protective suits. Uh, Please so, state your business. <clears throat> yeah, uh, one, of, one, of them, one of them looks up and, li and like, over to you. Uh, oh. Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, the boss. The boss is gonna, gonna talk to you guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, then, like, quickly just <laughs> looks away. Kind of, um, kind of like holding their position. Would Invisibot be able to see where I hid? I forgot to ask that. Invisibot? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. He would have been tracking you specifically. Um, it's probably like one of the normal stealth rules, right? Like the idea is like he hides. Invisibot loses him, but he knows what he walked behind, so he just walks up and looks like, oh, there he is. He's behind the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably how it went. So I'd say Invisibot still probably knows where you are. <laughs> Because, like, he was aware of your presence beforehand, so. Whom is your boss? <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Haldum. He'll be out in a minute. 
Okay, so that guy. All right, all right. What just happened? What's what's going on? Where's Santa? Santa. Oh. Santa's outside. Outside. Okay. Okay. They still be sleeping. They still be sleeping. Mm. Yeah. After the. After, after the, the other much nicer the ship other lands, much nicer ship lands. Uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, so I'm getting the, an echo. Getting an echo. Some Ragnar. Some Ragnar. So. Yeah, it's always Ragnar. Ragnar. It's always Ragnar. Except when it's me. Except when it's. Nah, you bring static. Ragnar brings uh, echo. Mm. He brings the noise. Mm -hmm. His mic's too good now, or his speakers are too good. Yeah. Okay. It stopped. So, yeah. Once that once that lands after another couple of minutes, um, yeah, it open it opens up, and that red and that red guy you met back at that one bar that Z was talking with, uh, he's walking out, though he doesn't have any protective gear on. Wait, can you put this picture up real quick? Uh, yes, so I can. Let see if I can remember if it's the red guy I'm thinking of. How many red guys do you guys know? Uh, I know this red guy, I know the Kool-Aid man. Merrick. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Merrick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. he he the Kool-Aid man oh. isn't red, he's see-through. His insides are red. Just like yeah. yours. And he's trying to get you to drink his insides. It's like everyone. See, the uh -huh. vampire. Instead of drinking other people's inside red stuff, he wants other people to drink his inside red stuff. Actually, I think some vampire games have you be able to, like, take someone, like, embrace someone based on being able to drink the vampire's blood. That's how, that's how, yeah, that's how you turn people in some, some vampire settings. You gotta mm -hmm. mix yeah. the blood. We keep on getting derailed. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe the derail is the point. Yeah, it happens, but, okay. Yeah, uh, and the, and the bartender, uh, Kryda, he's up, he's walking out behind him, though he does have protective gear on. Hmm. Santa is going to hold his action and wait for them to make the first move. I'm not sure if he can fully trust them at this point. Cause yeah, they're, they're walking up to you. <laughs> You're the only member of the Z team they see right now, so they're going to you. Oh boy, okay. <clears throat> um, Santa, with his sage-like knowledge... That's a bitch. Uh, just takes one step towards them and says, please state your business. Uh, we're here to talk to Z. You, it, what, wait, I forget, were you with her when you guys last saw them? Uh, no. Yeah. No. We missed the session. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't recall if you guys have ever actually met. <laughs> Uh, you're her robot, right? I am a droid, that is correct. Z does not wish to be disturbed at the moment. She is resting. Alright, well, where's the boater so we can start setting up? In an undisclosed location. Alright, bot. <clears throat> Go wake up Z. Or tell us where it is. Because we're not just going to sit around here for however long it takes her to wake up. I can supply tea if you wish to wait. But Z does not wish to be awakened. Alright. Where is it? Information is disclosed to only people of higher caliber information. What? May I see your identification, please? He's he, a smuggler for a business card? Yeah, he's he's looking at you just like with a face of you gotta be fucking shitting me. <laughs> yeah. Um I'm going to I'm waiting to see the see them put hands on Santa <laughs> because I don't know these people. <laughs> Where is that? 
Okay. Um, Santa. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you all right. Go. That's all right. That is just a success. Woo! As he as he wa as he waves his hand, just kind of like in your face. You'll tell me where the bota is, and you just don't do it. I yeah. will once I see the identification. Yeah, God damn it. <laughs> Where's the shot? All right, well, I'm just going to go inside then. <laughs> he tries to go past you. Santa kind of holds his arm to the side. You can enter, but you must go alone. He's going to try to duck under your arm. Yeah, like, go, go past you into the airlock. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let him go in, but I won't let anyone else enter. Yeah, the... <clears throat> Uh, the, bleh, bleh. yeah, the the big ass Cathar is trying to follow. <laughs> Santa is going to step in front of him. Uh, so you're trying to physically block him from getting in. I am acting as a non-human wall. Okay, so if you're trying to physically block him from getting in, because he's just going to try to go past you, uh, you're, you're going to need to make contested athletics, pretty much. Awesome. His chest bump. Doesn't that count as a hostile square, though? I mean, I'm, well, no, because that literally means that the person that's trying to get past is Ooh, doing yeah, the attack fine. action to yeah, do fine. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Santa just got attacked. And okay, so yeah, and I, like yeah, you try, I see you that. Try, yeah, you try to physically stop uh, Krita from going past, and he just kind of like. Picks you up and moves you aside and goes pa goes past. So you're trying to shoot at them now. I I said I was <laughs> shooting at the person that attacked Santa. Okay, okay. Th that's an attack. Are you sure this is a good idea? Do you want to do this? <laughs> Not, but it's funny. <laughs> hey, I know it's funny. These I I don't know these people, and I said, "Hey, I'm take I'm hiding." You were aware that them. they had people coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's there's only two groups. Yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't you, know. You know at as what? Kane did not know who yes. these people were coming. No. Yeah. The party told... Okay. Oh, uh, who wants I was to know Ragnar about how they informed them that they had people coming? Yeah, I mean, we had the whole... Like, Aziz explained the whole thing. We even talked about the... Um... I don't know who Merrick is. You, know, I don't you don't know, know who they are. Yeah, you don't know who they are, right? Like, like, you know someone's coming, and someone's now walking on our ship, and they're kind of being hostile. But, I mean, the idea is, like... You could be like, oh, maybe these are the people that are coming. Oh, look, they attack Santa. Maybe these aren't the people. I should shoot them. Also, he didn't attack him, he just moved him out of the way. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mechanically, technically. Technically he... an attack action, yeah, 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 yeah. but, but he didn't yeah. harm him. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the idea is, it's up to the, the crazy guy in the bushes if he wants to shoot someone or not. Yeah. Also, I mean, the idea is, he could say, like, hey, what are you, you doing? <laughs> Talk to him. Uh, if they're not their people, who you're aware of, then they're your people. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it worth the risk? But, I mean, you could always just, you know, talk to them. <laughs> Yeah. So, you're attempting to shoot Kryda? No, I'm shooting next to him, and then I'm going to stand up, ask what's going on. He, you're okay, being stopped so. on the ship. They're warning okay, so you're shooting next to him? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> as, you, as you do that little burst, just like around, around his feet and stuff, he would immediately turn around, whipping out a massive vibroblade. <laughs> Who's out there? Santa is going to look out towards him and say, as I said, only one person may enter. Identification, please. Well, I mean, he's already he's already passed you inside the airlock, so... Oh, he's in the airlock. Yeah, yeah, like, like the, Wait, the one, person one... that yelled? Oh, man. Well, yeah. he moved him and took a step forward, and then he got shot at, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like... Oh, I, I hit. Oh, I step know, like on twigs. Doors so, open, yeah. The other one is closed. You know, the yeah, closed I step on twigs. Meters. My location's revealed. I stand up. It seems like uh, my droid's blocking you. Who the hell are you? What are you doing on my ship? Yeah, like like Mer Merrick would go in front of Kryda, just like you know, calm, you know, calm down, calm down. What business, associates? Get out of our way. Hell. What's your name? <clears throat> My name's Go Fuck Yourself, Clone Trooper. 
And then he, he just he, he just hit he just hit the button to close the close the door and open the other one after you know air purification. <laughs> so he's not gonna be happy. Yeah. After he says that, Sam's gonna look over and just give away with chains. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. At this point, the rest of you would be awake. If you want to be. <laughs> if you heard the gunfire? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, gunfire is pretty muffled by it. Plaster fire. Gunfire, plaster fire, whatever you want to call it. Must it hit yeah. the ship. Sure. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a few blaster burns on the inside of the... Classic <clears throat> Ivar. Oh, Ivar so, ordered this straight up attack to kill, not warning shots. Wait, did it hit, like, Rhea's room? The no, no, no. bot's room? The interior of the airlock. Oh, okay, so the medical droid would probably be the one closest to the gunshot. Mm -hmm. They all see you guys are the airlock opening and closing. Yeah. And, and then just, hello? Hello? Damn, yeah, we'll have Larabia awake. Uh, oh, what's that like? Is that making breakfast? <laughs> Alright, yeah, she's, make, she's making a damn good meal. The last time, too, she rolled 20. Yep. Just, just like in her own head. I'm finally doing. I'm finally doing as well as that skank did. You know. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the kitchen gets plus five, and then like the um, the three. I just, mm. I just did half of two stats. Yeah. I don't know exactly what stat I want to use. So I'm like, I don't know, charisma and dex. Fuck it. Zero and a five. Found it up to be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Z, I notice you are currently in the shower. Yeah, yeah, she's making breakfast while I'm in the shower. Mm -hmm. okay. well, yeah, uh, do you think Lorray can hear it from the TV? Yeah, you can. You can hear him. No. Oh. Why is okay. so you, you <laughs> this couch all always sticky? <laughs> yeah, why is this couch always sticky? Uh, Lorray's never cleaned it, so he just stopped questioning it at some point. Like. Uh, it's sticky, but I don't want to clean it. Probably gets cleaned every day, but it's still always sticky. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, hey. Yeah, yeah. Lorraine and Merrick have met, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. That one time in the bar. Yeah. Oh, you. Uh, the, what was the name? The he's like snapping, trying to remember. Just staring at him. <laughs> The, what, whatever your name is, yeah. Uh, where, where's Z? We're here to discuss business. Uh, uh, I don't know where Z is. I mean, she's probably on the ship. Uh, also, you, you want some toast? The, no, we, we ain't on the way here. Also, your bot and your clone gave us a. We're, try, we're giving us a hassle. Clone tried to oh, shoot at us. Oh, you mean that native guy? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he lives here? Wait. Who the hell would live here? Wait, you said they shot at you? What yeah. the hell? Shot, shot at Crider when he moved when he moved the robot out of the way. You uh Oh, that's fair enough. Uh hey, Santa should allow self control. Usually uh Oh no, it's just usually if anyone touches Santa he sort of like goes crazy. I guess you're really gentle. I just picked him up, moved him to the side. It was simple. Yeah. No, uh, uh, someone less gentle than you probably would have gotten. I mean, I've seen him punch stuff before. It, it's it's bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah uh, Z's around here somewhere. Um, do you want to come in further? I'm sure yeah, she's yeah. in here somewhere. Yeah, come on, Kreider. Lead the way, uh, I don't know, blue man. <laughs> yeah, just, just Lurie. Uh, all right. All right. I'll, I'll She's never in the med bay. This room is defaulted to Santa. Uh, maybe chains now? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's the name of the clone guy. Oh, I wonder who's in the shower. He's probably getting out, like you hear the door open. And you hear her definitely singing some song really shittily that she's just singing to like a hairbrush. She's like naked with a towel in her hair pretty much, that's it. And she just comes out like... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, like, Lorraine, yeah, you, hear, you, you hear Merrick just like whisper to Kryda, remember, be nice. <laughs> <laughs>
She's just like really yelling and shit. Yeah. And, like she just walks by, like her eyes are closed. She sees like she's dancing while doing it. She looks like goes, oh, oh hey guys. Hey, uh, Merrick's here to talk business. Okay, let me, I guess, get dressed. Books. Meet you in yeah. the, uh, dining room. Breakfast is almost done. Better be. Alright. Yeah, uh, Liliana's making something. By the way, it's for the best that she's getting dressed. It's really awkward when she talks serious naked. Yeah. I mean, I've done that before, but I don't prefer it. I didn't take you to be the type. Yeah, it was when I was a bit younger. Not sure I ever... Uh, I don't know a Ringa. I guess everyone has crazy kid years, I guess. I don't know. Uh, if you just want to sit down, they usually eat over there. Take a seat. Uh, also, just a quick question. Um, Chain and Santa, after, after they just go inside, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Well, I, like I said, Chain doesn't know these people. Chain's gonna sit there and keep an eye on everybody else. Walking in, Santa is just going to end a conversation and saying, and that is how I saved Life Day. No! Don't know me! Me! <laughs> It's a Star Wars Christmas special reference. Yeah. Life Day is uh, this thing that Wookiees celebrate. It's pretty much Christmas for them. Yeah, it's... <laughs> but it's a really bad special. It is. It, it is. is. It really uh, is. I remember from like a Weird Al song about he has like a bootleg version of that he bought in the back alleyway or something. Oh, nice. Yeah. I know Carrie Fisher had one like to the day she died. But uh, I had a VHS of it. No, I'd look at them and ask them what their what is their business here, so I get the full understanding. Yeah, a uh, <clears throat> what the fuck. Yeah. <coughs> oh, oh. Yeah, a uh, a weak way a weak way guy uh, looks at you. Uh, we're here for the Boda. It's, uh, at least it's what Merrick told us this off was for. Oh, shit, if I would have known it was you guys, do you not tell the droid? You're at least your name. I mean, hey, that's the boss's job. <sighs> I shot up the general's companion. Oh, great. Yeah, great, great, great idea. Oh, to me, you guys look like fucking pirates. So, a job, defend the oh, ship. What? Why do we look like pirates? Uh, a ship right there. I I look at the like old ass transport ship. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> Doesn't look that old. Looks like it was more recent production. Well, I just sit there like, eh. That, that ship right there. What? Because the ship we fly? It's a good ship. Not even a blaster cannon on but anyways. it. Anyways. <laughs> and plus, your thoughts on that yeah, didn't but... get immediately cancelled out by the fancy-ass one over there? <laughs> oh, that kind of proved my suspicions even more. Santa's just doing that slow turn to chains, like, do not say something racist. <laughs> a quiet you clanker. Whatever you say, Ivar. Oh, is it that? You think you think we're pirates because we're weak ways? <laughs> he, 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 and the, he and the guy in the other seat and his speeder are both weak ways. The other guy is a human, and then it looks like there's a twilight and another one. Droid, go get me a speeder so I can take him to the boda. Roger, roger. <laughs> And Gizmir. <laughs> <laughs> Having left that bomb on Chain's feet. <laughs> don't be racist. <laughs> the fuck? No, I don't even care what race you are. You fuck yeah. up, you can interfere with my job. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. That's what I was trained for. 
Next thing you're gonna say, you don't care what race you are, you hate everyone. Equally. I mean, uh, what I say. Yeah, equally. But if a clone betrayed our general or who we work for at the time would get shot by me, you know, wouldn't have two thoughts about it. Remember, I shared confidential information with you called a clone rebellion. Oh yeah, like out of character, Lorraine's medium key mad that you didn't show up to the hot tub because he was gonna ask about that. <laughs> oh no, he still will. I was just doing my. J I was scouting for more fields. Yeah, you missed and... team bonding. Yeah. 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 Tell me more about these state secrets. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, just I wait for a speeder, and then once I get the speeder, I'll head out, leaving Santa with a message I'm, that I'm taking them to the uh, first field first, not the second uh, one. Which speeder are you taking, Santa? Santa will give him one of the standard speeders. Okay, oh, you get a Z74. You, yeah. You've had experience with these, uh, Chain. Yeah, and I, 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 I sit there and just, and I don't like these newer ones. I want the old ones. Uh, Z seventy four speeder bikes were in service during the Clone Wars. Uh, let me rephrase that. You could just say you wanted a bark speeder. That's what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sand is going to bring the speeder up to him. Still in the driver's seat, he's like, hop in. No. He moves to the back. This is awkward. I'm not straddling a droid. Why would it be awkward? Oh, fuck. I need you to give this note to Z. Can't Santa the note. Santa's going to look at the note. Yeah, what's it say? It says heading to Bodafield with your. Uh, partners, uh, people to get started. Santa just going to use his comms and just tell her that. Yeah, your comms aren't working. Do you just have that thing on all the time? <laughs> I I don't know anybody. I don't know how to. I don't know. Don't know anybody. I don't trust them. Like how I'm skeptical. I've been here for two weeks. They're being extremely nice to me. Even Santa. Uh, B2 battle, uh, super battle droid at that. It's like. Nice people? Impossible! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been working with huts to get what I want, so I'm like. Eh. <laughs> Alright, Sam's going to look at the note and this will send up and say, Before you take off, would you like to deal with the incoming wild creature? Which one? Sam's going to point at the uh, tree line and point out the. I'm going to assume one of the more smaller animals that's not exactly dangerous, but you know. Yeah, there's point a. Point to a squirrel. There's like. Yeah. There's like, there's like, a, fi uh, there's like a fire gnat just sitting on a branch. <laughs> and so yeah, like, I just. I just look at Santa. What are you talking I, about? That creature there. I point the fire net. What creature? <laughs> what creature? Did you just shoot at it? Is that what that beep the... was? Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> then I guess you the world... you obliterate that fire net. <laughs> yeah. When when he does look in, when he does look at it, though, I'm just gonna make sure that the uh, little tracker on the thing on the uh, speeders are activated. Uh, well, I'm not gonna run away. <laughs> uh, the track. Uh, the tracker would work, but the jammer would cancel it out. <laughs> ah, fuck, you're right. Okay, then yeah. Sounds like that was a very good shot. Does the oh, jammer big run guy. Out of batteries or anything? Uh, sort of yes, sort of no. Like, it doesn't technically ever run out. Unless it's like, unless unless it's like destroyed by none. Like you can turn it off. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, is it, can it like, does it run out? Like, this is this key and it's leaving on forever, and nothing can ever stop it. Then, uh, if it's caught in like an ion blast or something else that disables electronics, it can be turned off. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Power, that would leave you all my equipment. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? What? 
everything that I have on my per person <laughs> would be turned off. <laughs> I'll be a basic bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that held weapons won't get turned off by that kind of shit, you know? But, like, you know, comms and jammers and other shit like that would be destroyed by an ion blast. Well, not destroyed, yeah. just deactivated for a while. Then, yeah, Sam is just going to go out to the ship and say, I shall give Z the note, and then I shall catch up. Yeah, alright. I look at them, alright, boys, keep the fuck up. Drive safe, Ivar, and he, Sam's gonna head to the ship. Yeah. They would, yeah, when you say that, like, they wouldn't take off immediately, they would get they get on their, yeah, they're gonna get on their comms, and, and then they just get a bunch of static. Uh, we can't confirm with the boss, so I mean, <sighs> like fine. the weak, weak way you're talking about, like get, is like starting to get out of a speeder, like just you know go inside, talk to him. <laughs> fine. I just press on my wrist, like basically on my wrist pad, just turn off my comm jammer for a couple minutes. Uh, what do you do? I turn off my comm jammer. No, no, he's asking what what did you do? He's he doesn't know what you did. Uh, call your boss. Okay. And, yeah, he, he calls, he calls up Merrick, and, uh, Z, as, as breakfast is being served, uh, Merrick, you see Merrick is on his comm link. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, what is it? Uh, the, Clone guy outside who shot at you guys is offering to take us to the Boda Fields. Should we uh, go with him? He, Merrick would look to UZ. Just like, you know, trust him or not. Uh, I wouldn't, but can. Hold off on that for now. I'll tell you when. Alright, sir. Yeah, and then the, you'd look back to you, uh, Jane. We're told, to, we're told to stay put till he tells us to go. Alrighty, and I immediately turn back on the jammer and just wait. Okay. So this random dude just saw oh, yeah. somebody press a button twice, but do they just not know that their comms don't work anymore? What I was thinking was like, he's like, oh yeah, your guy's been giving us trouble, he shot at us, and he's like, now he wants to take us to the boat, it's like, what the fuck's going on? Like, one, he wants to Never kill go people. to a second location. Yeah, he, Never wants, go to, like, to a second he location. wants to kill everyone potentially for not trusting him. Like, I trust you now. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, I never said I trusted them. I'm just, I said, oh, why didn't you just tell the droid that you're Z's business partner, not just move out the way? They did. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear that. I was back away. I'm out of their range from hearing. I have the greatest shot. <laughs> why wouldn't you just assume they said that? Well, because I watched Santa get moved after blocking Everybody else besides Merrick? Mm. You're assuming that Santa was smart enough to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, basically it was going off of Santa's movements. Pitiful. That was your first mistake. <laughs> Pitiful. <laughs> yeah, Santa does come in with a note in hand. Not knowing that all this was happening outside. Mm -hmm. Z. I have a note from Chains. Okay, what does it say? What? That him and the companions that... I keep forgetting his name, what was his name? Red guy? Eric. Merrick. That, Mer that, that he and the companions that Merrick brought are going to the northern Bofa fields. Okay, sure. Uh, I think I don't think they are, but that's fine. Roger, Roger. And then Santa is going to head on back. Crap. So this is like what what's going? What's up? Well, we got, we brought our equipment here to set up. Uh, basically, I just wanted to make sure exactly. If there's anything else we should know about the location before we get going. Um, we or anything else? We cleared out we most of the stuff. We haven't been here forever, so I mean, we haven't cleared out everything, maybe, but it might be something else. Killed a, killed a bunch of bugs. Mm. I'll be right back. I have to go get summer from work.
Okay. That's like it. a little Ewok or something wandering around. That's like yeah, yeah. We brought us, we brought us a fire. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, not that I know of. Right. Pretty uninhabited other than that, except for just things. Yeah. Oh, bo- uh, you know boys about... only have uh, slug throwers. Do you, just do you know about Coracue's tourist agency thing? Like, apparently, that's going to be a really big player in this area. Hmm. Like, no, I, she's doing paperwork. We can. Oh yeah, like she wants to thing. go through you to do the boda and everything. But apparently, that's going to have like a major impact on. I don't know who gets the boda and. Whether or not they start hunting wildlife for food or something. Yeah, Mixed signals, really. That's her thing. I'll let her decide on that. Yeah, I'm just letting you know that uh, might be a future complication. I don't I mean, know. Just... Yeah, there's no complications here. I mean, there's Boda here. We're I here for the Boda. We may know the deals with her. I mean... Yeah. With, with Chain, I mean... Everyone's trying to bogart my deal here, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, uh, that's not that's about good. that. I guess we can get moving. Uh, um, you just look at Liliana like, what's the hand I'm giving the coordinates? I don't keep track of all that. I assume Liliana would do yeah. the secretary now. Liliana would, Liliana would give him that. <laughs> Alright. We'll be able to get this going soon enough. Sure. Yeah. Let me know when it's good to come pick it up. Question mark, I guess. Yeah, we'll uh, give you the time. Yeah. Once we so, get shit going. Yeah, yeah, we 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 have stuff to do. We'll be fine. Hmm. All right. Uh... Also, about that Ewok. This. How did you how did you find out about him? Like, I don't know, it seems like it wouldn't be easy to find one of those little shits around. You know, I mean, you know, I seen his little furry butt. Go into a little hole. Alrighty then. We're looking for more Boda Fields, and then we stumbled upon him. Hmm. In Interesting. Yep. Yeah. And like Cora thinks he's she's ugly. Pretty much it. That's all we got. She he made like very much sure to specifically single her out, call her ugly. Damn. Yeah, if everything's good, we're probably gonna, I don't know, head out. We gotta go broker a peace deal and and save some lives and, and do some other crap. You know, standard Tuesday stuff. Alright, well, uh, we're gonna go get to work. Yeah, he'd uh, stand up. Come on, Kryda, let's get out of here. And they would head out. Uh, so yeah, um, chain outside, you would... Yeah, you'd see Kryda and Merrick coming back out of the airlock. And yeah, Ragnar is picking up Summer. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Um, yeah. Santa, are you still out there? I don't remember. Yep. Yeah. And you'd basically just see him go up, go up to his guys and hand one of them the little data chip with the coordinates. All right, coordinates are here. Go there, set up the ray shields and the APO fires. If a little Ewok shows up, give him an APO fire, he should fuck off. And <clears throat> and uh, we should be able to get we should be able to get this going. And they'd basically just, you know, start doing their shit. Alright. Yeah. Um I'm debating if Santa would go with it. Mm. Nah, that's, that's a large group. I think they have enough firepower. Santa's gonna leave them be. Yeah, each of those four guys in protective suits you see, they all got slug throwers. Uh, it doesn't appear as if Kryda has any sort of blaster, slug throw, or anything. He just has a you know vibro blade. Uh, that never occurred. So yeah, and yeah, well, Merrick, you don't see his weapon. Calling everyone. I don't know if the calls are still being jammed or not, or how far the range even is. Uh, they are once again being jammed because Ragnar turned the jam right on immediately after the call went through. How far is the mm-hmm. radius of that? It's like 100 feet. Okay. So, Santa's in the radius of it. Okay, so Z calls everyone, no one answers, she goes, well, guess they're not coming. <laughs> no 
don't answer their phone. I don't know what does it sound like when I, when I call them and they don't answer. Is it just like busy or is it just they just don't pick up? No, no. Like if you try to call someone through a jammer, it's just like yeah, they can't get a connection. Best to get static. If it's like. <sighs> Okay, everyone in the room, go find everyone else. Tell them we're probably leaving soon, so we got shit to do. Doesn't Santa have to go fix or get Betty back or something? Yeah, so should I be calling the droid Slutty Betty, or is it just Betty? It's Slutty Betty? I don't know. How respectable do you want to be? My name is Slutty Betty. Do you want to call her by her full name? Yeah, so I, I do want to be respectful, but at the same time... Is it more respectful to call someone a slut if their name is Slutty Betty, or is it less respectful because that was a nickname? That was Ragnar's name for the that was the name he gave her. Maybe she was a big slut. Maybe he programmed her to be a whore so he can fuck her whenever she wants and she wouldn't care. I don't know. That's between them. Santa's gonna fix get her back so Santa can deal with that shit. I don't know. I don't deal with all the like Ragnar's droids. They just they just are around. I last time I had to watch them, they were like hitting each other with each other's legs or something like that. I don't remember. Something stupid like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh Take after their dad. Yeah. Um. Z, yeah, Z. After after you look oh, look back over towards Liliana because you were looking at Lorray, like you know you had just told told them to, like to go find the others. Yeah, Liliana, she's gone. <laughs> just <laughs> immediately following orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and Santa, you yeah you'd feel a little like you know you know ding ding on on your back just because <laughs> Liliana mm -hmm. yeah from Liliana there. Hey, yes. hey, Z Z's trying to call you guys. Come on, we're getting out of here. Okay. Yeah, and get in. Going to get on. Yeah. A big deal, because I don't know how Ragnar is going to take this with his character to leave. Like, huh? Like, like, we, like he should leave, but I don't know how Ragnar is going to think about this. Like, I'm not leaving the Boda. It's like, well, we can't do anything with the Boda. <laughs> If I recall correctly, yeah, you wanted to negotiate with Jewel and I about this. Yeah, I guess I should. Yeah, let's talk to Merrick about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go find Merrick again first, or call or, yeah, go get him. He's leaving, I guess. Yeah. I should have mentioned that. That's what I was supposed to mention to him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Lorray doesn't know that in character, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, if you want, if you want, we can just go back to where you were talking and continue. Yeah, yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. So I would say like, yeah. So apparently that clone. I guess he would have mentioned it probably, right? Like, who's the clone guy? Yeah. So I mean, yeah, he um he crashed here or something. And he's like stranded. He doesn't live here, but he was he was after the boat too. Apparently, apparently there's a hut war going on or something. And yeah, it's, that's been going on. We've been uh, selling to both sides, making a tiny yeah, profit. Yeah, the hut want the boat. Uh, and they sent him to find it because he wants to not die of old age because he's a clone or whatever and he's going to die really soon or something. So the deal was to get him that for some of the Boda. But I basically figured that if the Hut need it, you already have basically a buyer for most of it then. We don't even have to deal with that. So... Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a little worried about that actually if the Hats are looking for this because... Huts are never really fans of buying things. They usually prefer to control things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we just say, like, hey, I have it, and you didn't get it from me, and you're just like a middleman, like, you just, you, I, I sell it to you, and then you sell it to them or something, right? And you're like, I have no idea where it came from. Let's deal with that. <laughs> I oh, so like uh, keep the location of the farm secret and oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. What was the other thing? Like um, the person we talked to uh, kind of had the chain dude by the balls about he's so desperate. So he was getting uh, kind of fucked over by his deal. So I kind of took it over. So now they're talking to me, dealing with me. So I'm talking to um, Julemai. I don't know if you know who she is, but who? Yeah, some some chick. Don't worry about it. Was she? We we dealt with her a while back when we um. Did some things. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, the only real hurdle with that plan would be if that clone clone told him where the you know the boda was. If they know where the boda is. Then. Oh yeah, they didn't because they were going to. I stopped them. All right. That's that's good. That's good. Um. 
So I guess just keep him from tailing him, and we can keep this operation going nice and tidy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I'll just allow, like, I'm going to, um, contact them and give them your information, and then you can just broker the deals and then pretend like I'm selling it to you or whatnot, and you can just handle it all, so I don't have to... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now, if you think about it, you're actually out hutting a hut in a hut's game. If you think about it, because you know they like to control things. You're making it so you're controlling the supply, or at the very least, setting it up for a sense of control. You ever thought you make a good hutzy? Yeah, and that's why I'm gonna control the galaxy one day. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I, got, I became an Inquisitor pretty quickly. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could be, like, leader of the whole Empire. I really tried hard enough. But, you know, you gotta do stuff along the way. You guys, like, need things, like zombies being killed and stuff. Uh, apparently that's being taken care of, though. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Maybe they realized it was too big to take care of, and they just like, fuck it. Mm-hmm. Well, it would work except, uh, you know, kind of live where it's happening. Can't exactly abandon entire worlds like that. I, mean, or, I guess you could, but... Yeah, I mean, you can. You can blow up entire worlds. Alright, I'm back. Ah, oh, welcome back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Z. <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah, he get, he's getting up from his chair for this. Good doing, good doing business with you. I'll tell you when uh, there's some boat already, and we'll float it your way, minus the uh, processing fee, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And that's where that conversation actually ends. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Chain. So. Um. Mer Merrick got the coordinates from Z, and basically, you know, he's like instructing his men, you know, get the supplies on the speeders. You know, we're gonna head out and shit. Uh, are you doing anything with that? Or... And, and Liliana is currently bothering Santa to get on the ship because they're leaving. Oh. Then I... I mean, okay. I guess I'd just pack up the speeder and get on. <clears throat> yeah, uh, when, you're, when you're trying to, like, take take it on, like, Liliana was just, like, getting your like, Wait, 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 who said you're coming with us? Uh, me with Z's property. Hmm? Me with Z's property and I'm she pulls a gun on you <laughs> that's ours little lady I ain't afraid of hurting you she would attempt to contact Z only to get static turn off your jammer asshole <sighs> what Trust you just jam everyone I trust you. you just jam the comms all the fucking time I mean if people like you keep doing dumb shit that I guess I will. Yeah. Uh, dumb shit like that a put... courtesy call to make sure she doesn't have to kill you. Hey, I'm just trying I'm just trying to see whether I have to shoot you in the face or not. It's probably it's probably in your best interest to let me find that. General out. a deal for me. The huts. Mm -hmm. And how about you turn the thing the off so I can decision. make sure? Because you can be saying whatever shit you want out of your out of your dumb little clone mouth. <sighs> really? I I turn off the jammer and contact uh, Z and say, "General." Yeah, yeah. You get two calls: uh, Chain and Liliana. Who do you answer? <laughs> I definitely Liliana first. I mean, I don't really. <laughs> More important. Hey, I'm trying to get on the ship. Is he coming with us? Yes, if he wants to. Uh, okay. Just... Okay, bye. And she yeah. picks up the other call. It's like, what? Your apprentice, she said, or companion, or friend, whatever she is. He asked her to put down the blaster before things get worse. I assume she didn't know you were coming with us, so I guess she was just blocking you from coming? And she was in the room when you made the deal with the huts with me, so it kind of involves me. 
Yeah, she probably thought you were gonna stay with the Boda just because you know you like the Boda so much, but you know, you can come with us, it's fine. You have to earn the Boda somehow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's already like fucked off from you, from you, Chain. Just like, okay, Z doesn't care, I don't care. <laughs> Hang up. Yeah, so. Yeah, once it all happens, he's gonna go in the conference room and call a team meeting because we need to do what the fuck we need to do. Yep. How's meeting, y'all? I was getting voted off the island, no. <laughs> oh no! That that ship's already passed, Ivar's not here. <laughs> yeah, 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 I just keep thinking every time we do a house meeting, I'm thinking of like fucking okay. bad real world and Chappelle's So show. we know necromancy exists in this universe, so we can still vote Ivar off again. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring him back to life and vote him off. Mm -hmm. Like if, then, if, and, if this is a show, everyone knows what's going to happen. Like, oh, Ivar's back for some reason. Oh, he's getting voted off. <laughs> you only hear this episode to get voted off. Uh, did they ever do that in Survivor? Oh, bring someone back. Yeah, they, they, and they did another like yeah. uh, camp drama shit, whatever it was called. Oh, total, total drama. drama yeah, total drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My oh, question okay. is. Would being put off the island in this case be shot out the airlock? Let's go off the ship. You're thinking of Among Us, aren't you? Because I am too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's be honest, Ivar was pretty oh. sus. Are you letting the floor dry? Are you waiting for the floor to dry? Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah. If Santa had to wait for the floor to dry before cleaning it up, it'd be way too yeah. much come everywhere. <laughs> yeah, um, once Re yeah, once Rhea gets a ship out of atmosphere and into <laughs> hyperspace, she'd join you guys in there. Walking on the floor in the, st in the ship would be like walking across a movie theater floor. Uh, Lorraine, are you joining them in the conference room? Uh, yeah, yeah. Didn't okay. know that's where the team meeting was, but yep. Well, okay. where else are uh, I don't know. Last meeting was... Okay, I guess that's so where it was. Yeah, I don't know. We just had breakfast, now it's time for brunch, you know? Yeah, so it was another breakfast meeting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, so, uh, here's what's gonna happen. So, Merrick's gonna take over the Boda Fields, do all that kind of stuff. Um, basically, he's going to, um, we're gonna go half and half with it, right? So, whenever we want Boda, basically have to buy it for like half the price, pretty much. So, like, half of it is hours for free, and the other half is paying him to do his processing crap. Yeah, that's basically what oh, it is. Oh, you saying that the first taste is free? Oh, the first taste is up to... no. That's... Man. that's not what she said at all. Yeah, we, own, we own half of it, basically. Yes, but when we did... we did find it, so I believe we should at least get a free sample. I mean, we can have as much as we want, it's just not processed, so it's, it's worthless. Uh... The idea is if we want it to be processed, we're paying him to process it for us. Got it. Oh, by the way, I wasn't... I didn't want to bring this up during the meeting in case this was something you wanted to keep secret, but it didn't sound like you mentioned the second cave at all, you just mentioned we looked for stuff. I gave him the uh... Liliana gave him the coordinates to both places. Oh, for both? I yeah, should've. Oh, uh, okay then. Yeah, that's good then. Uh, like map more production. Right. Probably been a map of like, here's where the Boda fields are, here's where these animals were, here's where the uh, Ewok was, here's where, like, right now, so it's like a map probably. Yeah, just a day. regional map. Like, yeah. You know. so they know where to, yeah. Oh, that yeah. makes sense, okay. We haven't checked these directions, this is probably plain, so there's probably nothing there if you want to keep searching for more, if you get bored or something, right? Things like that. Mm-hmm. So, but if any, if he sells any of it, technically we get half the profits. <laughs> oh, that sounds great, honestly. Um, I mean, that's fair, I, right? Uh, probably. I don't know. You own half of it. Probably have to make some kind of deals. Yeah. yeah if I recall correctly, you guys never actually made a proper deal with him, did you? It was a deal, was... like, we we go halfsies on everything. Was it? I'm pretty sure it was just like he gives you he gives you guys Boda and he gets to control it. 
Yeah, I, I thought I was like we can go half these. Like you had like we we find it and we we supply it and you process it and we just go half these on everything. I said I would pay him to process my half and then. Yeah. You guys pretty much just found it for him. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. As I'm saying, like we like he's already getting a really good deal, even like with the half these thing. I, I don't know what what is he gonna sell for because I, I figured he's gonna want all of it. <laughs> Yeah, just every now and then. I mean, but I, I think the idea is like when he sells it to uh, Hut for Ivar or whatever, then Ivar for um, Chain, then Chain gets his little thing as his root like compensation, whatever. That's pretty much what we're getting. It's his cure shit or whatever. Part of it or a doctor or something. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I figured he's just processing it for me to buy it from him afterwards. Yeah, that's like pretty much what I was getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was saying I don't yeah. think he's to be selling to anyone but me, so, so there's no money we're getting from it. Yeah. What you were saying in character made it sound a lot like, oh yeah, we're just gonna get money over time now because we're going halvesies on everything, and we should get money when he sells. That's stuff. that's like the it's like the in character conversation, but technically out of character. Yeah, he's probably not gonna sell it to anyone but me because I'm gonna want to buy one at all. Have to find anyone to sell it to because I'm gonna buy it. The all of the huts want it. Yeah, but the huts like just a little bit. The hut wants. Just yeah, Z, so... you could assume he's probably gonna be trying to flood the market with this shit. <laughs> yeah, sure. Because like you know he's he's a, he's making an investment here. He's got to be able to break even at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I said he gets he gets half of it. Like he gets half of the money, whatever it's worth. I mean, he puts in the he puts in that, and basically he just gets the money for it. So like he can just take half the field and be like, "Cool, that's his." But then the other half, I just get for free. Then technically, okay, you're talking about the field, not the profits. Okay, okay. Yeah, kind of. This is like to to make it fair to be even. It would be like he supplies like the the stuff for it and all that stuff. I guess he's doing a lot of the work, so I guess he probably deserves more. But then. Yeah, he's the one yeah. making all the investment, and his guys are doing all the yeah, work. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. I, I don't really don't care. I'm just like, Z doesn't care. Z's just like, I, I want all the Boda, I'll give you a little bit of money for it, she doesn't care about money. Even if she's probably giving herself a bad deal here, she doesn't care enough. Mm -hmm. As long as, like, everyone else gets what they wanted for it. Like, as long as Chain gets his little, little bit that he needs for his hut people and stuff. Yeah. I guess will then cost more of an investment, so technically I guess yeah. Z will eat the cost okay. for that. Yeah, so dealing with a lot of character stuff, go back to what you're doing in character, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, yeah, so we're just gonna like, he's gonna handle it, I'm gonna get the Boda, you get your Boda, we can give it to the hut, blah blah blah. All that good stuff. I'm gonna contact Julamai, give them Merrick stuff, Merrick's gonna handle it. Whenever he gets done, process it and all that stuff, he's gonna send it to them, and... You, you get your doctor, I guess. We just gotta wait time. So, in the meantime, we gotta do other things. So, we can go to the Ribbons Division, do that. Guess anything else we wanna do? Am I the only one that finds it funny that we wanna take a clone trooper to a bunch of droid remnants? No, what does that mean? Oh, well, that's is, the Remnants Division, right? Yes. It is a sense of irony. Hi. Yeah, Chain, you don't know what the hell the Remnants Division is. What are they talking about? <laughs> A whole bunch of I old mean, droids. Lorraine literally just said something yeah. that should allude to, oh, Clanker Central. Mm hmm. Doesn't know anything about the history of clonism. So, do clonism. <laughs> do clones not like droids and do droids not like clones? Do, do you know like anything about the Clone Wars? Oh, I, don't, I never went to history class or anything like that. Oh. So the clones were fighting the droids. Okay. It it's I it's ironic. Still fighting uh, each other. That's all I was saying. I don't know. That uh, points over to Shane and Santa not actively fighting each other. That's what should be Doesn't a problem. Look like it. Okay. Yeah. Was... Santa looks around like, and there's a chain. I think they're talking about us. Uh, Ragnar's not here to say <laughs> Oh, well, no, okay. Okay, uh... So, yeah. 
Wasn't there like two things that we needed to do with the Remnants Division? I needed to go there to take care of assigning the status of this biodroid to me. Yeah, Betty. Uh, and then Z, didn't you need to broker a peace deal, I think you said? Yep, that's why I said we can go there. Okay. Uh, I don't know what else is on anybody else's plate, but, but two birds for one stone is pretty good. So is that just the best thing? Yeah, so then, let's see what else has something else to do. I don't know. It, if we have time, it might be nice to visit home. That's what I said too. I had to go visit, um... Fancy. Well, yeah, I mean, I was wondering if any of you wanted to see the Chiss Ascendancy for a little bit. I have to do that too. I have to go talk to your boss. Oh. Okay. Yeah. If, it's even better if there's official business for it, too. Yeah. Let's see if he knows about lightsaber crystals. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I, I, I should remind you that my official status is just standby, so I don't know if I'll be able to do too much as far as... Oh, my primary objective is to get you a meeting, but... No, no, I can do that. Okay, yeah. Um... But yeah, I should be able to point you in the right direction for that. So I guess that would be at the bottom of the list or near it. Yeah, we can we can uh, um the bar, see where else is going. I can pick up my lightsabers, um, and then we can go hang out at your place. See if we can do anything there. As soon as you're on standby, you show up. They might give you something to do. So probably should do that last, just so get more stuff before we get on other stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to have a goal, though. Yeah, it's sure. Kind of weird. It's... Yeah, I have a lot of goals, so I mean, yeah. Yeah, but that's just like stuff you make up. It's not for any reason. Stuff I want to do. It's more important. More important because I want to do it. Someone else just tells me to do something. It's not really important to me. What if they know better? Yeah. I mean, first they have to prove think... they know better. Eh. Yeah, maybe that's the thing. Yeah, I think you uh, talking to the brass will learn quite a bit. Okay. I mean, they impressed the pants off me, so... Sam looks at him and then looks down. Your pants are still on. Well, yeah, it's time to put him back on. Ah. That makes sense. Also, it's a metaphor. Did that not translate well? That translated what, well. What is the metaphor? I was very impressed. Maybe it's... Crap, is that the wrong word for it? I don't know. Figure of speech, maybe? Oh, turn a phrase. No. Sure. Yeah, turn a phrase. I, I don't know. How you gonna turn a phrase? Is that a Family Guy thing? Yeah, Peter. You making that. a reference? Yeah, Peter says, "How you turn a phrase?" Mm. Well, thank goodness I'm slightly more intelligent than Peter. Trust you are too. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Do we know where the Remnants Division is? Oh. Uh, okay. We did. Yeah, the, the column. I don't know where they are now. I mean, I did know where they were. I mean, call them. Let's see. Hops up, goes to the screen, and has to call them. Is there a complication? Burns is dead. Oh no! So yeah, slutty Betty. Kinda sus. 
She is not a slot. She actually does not have had that at all. Why would you know that? Wait, are you cheating on Bia? No. Then why would you know this? Because she has no sexual orifices. Then why were you so quick to say... Wait, does that mean that Bia has sexual orifices? Bia is also a virgin. All of us are virgins. Rather, all of us droids. Wait, so does that mean that I can just, like, call any droid a slut and it's just ironic? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Uh, Betty was left alone with Ivar, like, a lot, right? And this guy was known a lot for robot porn? Tuscan oh. porn. The robots were a joke. Oh. Well, he's taking it seriously. So, he was known a lot for robot porn. So, like, how do we know that he didn't have sex with Slutty Betty? I'm just saying. You can ask Betty. Because Betty does not have sexual orifices. I mean, I don't know about that. Maybe where there's a will, there's a way, you know? I do not believe, despite Ivar's brute appearance and strength, that he could fuck three inches of solid steel. That dude would run through a brick wall if he could. Like not that strong. Penises are known to be malleable and weak. And at times, hey, Mandalorians are... might be built different. You don't know. Wait, do you know? I do did, not know. Did I ever touch you in a row? Okay, I need a doll. Um, <laughs> is, uh, is the R2 unit nearby? Huh? Is the R2 oh, you're unit back. Where Good. You touched me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we were talking in character a little bit about Ivar, and like, okay, uh, R two, I need you to get me uh, a R two's up in the up in the cockpit. Damn. I mean, if you want, to, you, you can just go in there and talk to him. <laughs> nah, that's fine. He was just looking for someone that wasn't doing anything to like do something. Yeah, like as as soon as you as soon as you mentioned, like you know, you need a doll or some kind of example, just Invisibot disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. If his spot will not be shown where Ivar touched where Ivar touched Santa. <laughs> okay, so uh I think the question we had for Murderous before we realized he dipped out was yeah, uh, talking about how to find the remnants division, like giving them a call. You guys do have their transmission number. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we call them? Yeah. 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 Just bidding, bidding, and then. <laughs> Isn't there the jammer though? It's been turned off. Okay. Good. And the chain is keeping it on as you guys fly through hyperspace. I thought you already uh, mentioned that the personal comm jammer wasn't strong enough to block out a ship. Or am I making that up? I could be making that up. I honestly don't remember if I said that, but it would make complete sense. So, yeah, yeah, it blocks comm links, not transmitters. Yeah, and then you know what? It's got to be something you said because we wouldn't agree on anything otherwise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, if TX eighty three appears there in Is that, that little hologram ball, spot, that ball spot. What? Ball spot. Uh, I think that's what I think that's what you nicknamed him. Yeah, yeah boss bot. Good. Uh, hey, what's up? Hello. See, I was just planning to call you. Are hey, you guys ready to do that like talk thing? The talk is arranged for. The talk is arranged for two days from now. Okay, we're on our way. Uh, we also and need some. Wait. Oh. He's like looking down from the little hol holocom spot down at chain. Who is this? Uh, that's Shane. He is not going to be a problem, is he? Oh, you have to ask him that. <clears throat> yeah, um... Ragnar, are you back yet? Guess not. 
Okay. Shame. Guess we have if to talk about. If you're here, you're muted. <laughs> Furry porn? <laughs> what? I don't know. Why do, have, why do we have to talk about furry porn? <laughs> and the rules. We got Ewoks, we have Wookiees. <laughs> yeah, them's the rules. I don't make rules. <laughs> talk about the first thing anyone thinks about. Come on. That's how it works. <sighs> While we're doing a pause, I'm going to get more food Objectively speaking, the hottest fur furry species in Star Wars are Cathars, specifically they're females. The fuck's a Cathar? And why do I feel cathartic? I'm gonna say uh, okay, I'm gonna kill you, but... Um, <laughs> Krita is a Cathar, but the males are not as near as pretty as the females. There's a female Cathar, I put it in the chat. Question, are you ra do you rather feel Cathar dick than Cathar pussy? I hate. Oh, oh, okay. So cathartic. That is Star Wars Holiday Special. Oh, what? I needed to scroll down. Yeah, they're hot. Yep. They're uh, cat people. Mm. They're a little too cat person for me, but you know, especially because they don't have. Do they go nya? Do. Do a whole lot. I don't recall if they actually do or not, but I'm gonna uh, go. No, with like I said, like I told you, the first time I ever met those things, I thought they were like, like, like subhuman, like slave girl things. I'm like, oh damn, Star Wars, come on, really? It kept going like, nya nya, like to like the guy, and like, they were, but she was playing him the whole time, like and she was really like an assassin to try to kill him or did kill this him. This is afterwards. like in Star Wars: Build Republic, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, include if you ask them them in them. future Cathar characters. <laughs> when you ask them if they have sex with you, they'll say, "I will not." Yeah, I, I'll look up Show and see yourself. if I can find those scenes. <laughs> Bounty Hunter one or whatever it is when you're like a Mandalorian. For the rivals. But yeah, I'm gonna get some more dinner. Be right back. Oh, uh, see ya. Sheesh, Ragnar said BRB like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> He's here, he's got to unmute himself. I, I mean, I mentioned that already. Yeah, it's the second time that's mentioned, yeah. Wait, some, did somebody else just leave as well? Well, now I did. Motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, like, did B go do something? I don't remember. Yeah, B's going to get dinner. Okay. I, mean, I, I guess, uh, yeah, sure, if you guys want, let's just... Uh, it's a little break. break. Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah I can, I'll take a piss. He's more... They never returned. Fighting. I have returned with more food. Only for female. Okay. In all. The Fred has taken a piss. My case. What did you think? Is he taking a piss or taking Get the out piss? Of my sight. A piss. Get out. Okay. All of you. There's only There's one man who takes the record. piss, and he died a long time ago. Oldest on record, to be exact. We're about And to we all out. agreed not to speak his name. Oh. I arrest my case. It yeah, it's because we agreed not to speak his name, so you don't know who it is. It's good. You got his name. Good job. I'll have your trade. Oh, winning. You just bought their <laughs> but do no. collectors and. Also, I'm not going to answer who it is because I I said I'm not going. We're, we're not going to speak his name. We're not gonna... It's R. Kelly. No, no, he just raped someone. Wait, no, did he rape someone, or was he, was he a... Peed on someone. Was... Peed on an underage girl or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some, something pedophilia. Just asshole. No, that, that's a good way to put it. Asshole. I like, I like the whole fucking thing in, uh... I, I, I don't know, I like the boondocks theory about it. What? When they, when they talk to the little girl or whatever. The boondocks theory. And the boondocks, yeah, like they, R. Kelly was on trial in boondocks, stuff like that. And they're like, let him go, he didn't do anything. He makes good music, right? And then, like, um, the idea was, like, uh, Riley's like, how old is that girl? Like, 13? I mean, she's old enough to know to move out of the way when people pee on you. I mean, hey, Huey, pee on me right now. Bet y'all move out of the way. And he's like, he's like, 
<laughs> she knew what she was doing. She wanted it. She understood. <laughs> then, like, eventually, it clips to her interviewing the little girl with, like, a blur over her face. She's like, what do you mean? Yeah, I want him to pee on me. It's R. Kelly. I wouldn't want R. Kelly to pee on me. I'm not old enough and no move out of the way when someone pees on you. Right, this is her explaining it. <laughs> That is awesome. Yeah, it's hilarious. hilarious. Yeah, Boondocks is awesome. Boondocks is my favorite show because of that. It's so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like when we were little, he used to pee on me all the time when he was a baby. You going to jail? Whoa, whoa, one at a time, whoa. Oh, I seen What? I don't know. That girl, she ain't just wanted to walk in and say that, you know? Yes. No. Row, row, row your boat gently, gently down, down the stream. Merrily, 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 life, life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently, gently down the stream. Shut up! Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your speedster gently down the stream. <laughs> speedster? So you're rowing the flash down the stream. <laughs> yes. I can be blue, I can be violet skies, I can be purple, I can be hurtful, I can be anything you like. I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violet skies, I can be hurtful, I can be purple, I can be anything you like. I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violet skies, I can be hurtful, I can be purple, I can be anything you like. The itsy bitsy spire climbed out the water spout. Down, Down came, came the rain and, and washed the spider out. Out, out came, came the sun and no dried up all the rain. Hey, hey Finnegan. Who? Oh, man, Finnegan. Man, How does that Finnegan? one go? What? There was an old man named That's Michael right. Finnegan. He had whiskers to his chin again. They grew <laughs> out and then grew in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. There was an old man. He's keep going over. Finnegan again. I hate this. Yeah, Finnegan, Finnegan, Finnegan. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> like I know a song that's everyone's heard. You know, that one's easy too. But uh, there's one about a f moose named Fred with orange juice. It's a camp song. That one's fun. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. Okay, sing. that's a good one. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. song. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster than you're wrong, it'll help if you just you sing just along. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. Squidward! Good! It'll help. It'll help if you just, just sing, sing along. along. This is for friends who oh, do yeah. stuff together. You is for you and me. And is for anywhere and anytime at all. Here in, here in the blue, blue sea. sea. You F try is for it. F like is it? for fire that burns down burns the down whole town. Sea. U is for uranium. Bombs. Bombs. N is for no survivors. Fire. Here in the deep That's not what fun's all about. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't Spongebob have like three different ones of that too? Uh, but like only one of them sticks for some reason? I don't know. I don't remember. I feel like he reiterated it. But yeah, like, he did. Like, then just did the flowers. same thing. The frolic throughout the flowers. You is for you go. Get lately. Yeah. I I personally prefer Plankton's version with with fire oh, it's nukes. Better. There's fire nukes and no survivors. F is for fire that burns down, burns down the whole town. Fire. F is for fire that burns down the whole town. U is for uranium bombs and is for no survivors. There's and the best part is that you know that that shit would never make it in a kids' cartoon today of of an evil mastermind explaining how he's gonna destroy the whole town and kill everyone with nukes and how no one's gonna survive. <laughs> Yeah. There's one song though from SpongeBob that we can all agree was the best. Cause it's sweet, 
Sweet, sweet, sweet victory. victory. Yeah. My parents yelled at me so much for just playing that on repeat. <laughs> I love that song so much. <laughs> you should. What's this? Ripped my pants. Wait, wait. You, you guys are forgetting another classic. I'm a goofy goober. Yeah. You're a goofy goober. Yeah. high seven figures. How is there anything left? Toadies is debt from you, and I am in the the facility's computer system. He was evaluating the fact. Lacoids into the wilderness. When a sun queen will reveal herself. The sonic device will disorient. Don't you agree? If things. It's not that. Success. I've just received word that Colonel Sartius has been withdrawn. <laughs> You've done. Gear swoons in admiration for Master. This is priceless. Admiral Ivanus is already on his way. He wants us to meet at the spaceport. You've done me a favor. will be at my side. We'll make the occasion truly memorable. Morgir wants to go. Morgir can be part of the occasion. Oh, very well. But mind your place. I'll see you at the Admiral's docking bay, bounty hunter. Don't be late. A very bright future awaits us. Ah, there you are. Just in time. Admiral Ivanus. Shh, he's coming. Lord. Yes. How fitting that the individual who helped me achieve my goals will be at my side to greet the Admiral. And he'll enjoy meeting someone of your skill and ability. I think both of you would benefit. Meet me at the spaceport. Your presence as part of the grand entourage I present to Admiral Ivanus will make the occasion truly memorable. Morgia. Have sex like we do. Like they're all yeah, sexual one of them, in the yeah, physical one of, sense. One of them squirt, squirts out jizz, the other one squirts out, you know, motherfucking you know, eggs. Or no, wait, that's no, the that thing. Be, both of them do that. No, can't, both of them do that. I can't find it, but this is basically the cat girl. She she talks in the third person, she has like a weird accent, so it makes her sound like it, and it, it kind of Oh, it's like a Russian accent thing, I think. Yeah, 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 but she she talks yeah. to her person. She calls this guy master, pretty much. But she's really just playing him the whole time, and she starts talking yeah. to different, kills him or something like that. All right, well, uh, mm. we have been talking about SpongeBob for long enough, so I guess let's just get back to it. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, also, Ragnar where are we just got back. Yeah, really? he just got back. He's looking real twenty. He just says he got back. We were talking about SpongeBob. Let's yeah, we were talking about SpongeBob. We took a little break. Oh, he's typing am in I a pretty Discord. princess? No, no, it's Am I a Pretty Girl, not Am I a Pretty Princess. These pictures should match. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> also, I love how Mr. Krabs fights an undead army for a soda drink hat. <laughs> and he wins. Are you saying that Mr. Krabs could beat Goku? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Fuck it, it depends sure. how much money is on the line. Like, this is Garfield rules. I mean, SpongeBob can beat Goku. He's, he's invulnerable to damage, and he's a master of karate, and he's always okay. ready. So you and take Mr. Krabs. Take, Krabs. take Mr. Krabs, take Garfield. Throw out a one-on-one -on -one fight. No money, no lasagna is on the line. None of them even participate. Infinite money, infinite lasagna is on the line. Who wins? I say I Mr. Krabs. So, uh, 
you haven't seen enough of the Eldritch Abomination Garfield comics. No, I, I have. I have. I've, I'm on r slash I'm sorry, John. I've seen plenty of that shit. Mm-hmm. But, like, Mr. Krabs greed goes beyond all bounds. I think he'd be able to do it. Because if we're just going, like, actual characters, like, yeah, a cat's yeah, going to lose a- to a crab. It's literally canon that Garfield will do literally anything for lasagna. Like, surpass human limitations to have for they lasagna. Have an undead army for money? And why? Probably. If, if, Wait, not give money, me an lasagna, example. maybe. Give I don't me... know. I've watched, like, one episode of the... Okay, there is an actual Garfield cartoon. Yeah. But, like, it hasn't run for long enough. So, like, I feel like if it ran as long as Spongebob... Yes, Garfield would have fought an on- undead army for lasagna. Yeah, well, he didn't. So oh. Mr. Krabs wins. What's up with the Mr. Krabs? Mr. Krabs is a master swordsman, and he's an experienced pirate. He's taken a whole lot of ships. He knows how to work a cannon. He is a deadly combatant. You disappeared, and then B had to go do. So we started taking a break, and people started talking about. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about. We're talking about SpongeBob. No, okay. no right. so, uh, Fred thinks that Garfield the cat would defeat Mr. Krabs. I think Mr. Krabs would win. <laughs> No, uh, Summer had the couch picked up, and the cats kept getting under her while she was cleaning, and she yelled for help. Okay. But yeah, so, where we left off, um, so, the party, like, I'll just catch up, Ragnar, the party is, like, discussing, you know, uh, they're currently called up TX-83, and, and they're talking about the Remnants Division, and, you know, like, your character has no idea what that is, so, all I know is I see a commando droid. Colonel Sashi. So oh, you've, you yeah, you've seen you a commando droid, you've Bounty seen a scrapped up B1, want- and you heard about, yeah, and now you've heard about, like, oh, like a faction of CIS droids, and you're currently looking at an old tactical droid standing above you in the holo- hologram from the holocom. Uh, currently talking to the party, and his last thing he said was he asked who you were and if you would be a problem uh, as he's looking down at you. I just look at him. I won the war. No problem with me. And then you were phased out of service. I I was all the way up to the second Death Star before I retired. And look what happened to that. Yeah, it's because us clones retired. Fucking norms. (laughs) You don't seem to have much respect for people in the military service. Ironic. Right. The droids, I'll give them credit. They had a, they had great aims, or even better. Just us clones were trained. No, I, I'm talking about how person. you're treating clones. Uh, no, us clones are superior in military for human standards. We were the superior army. Humans. The droids were superior in their own way. Correct, we were vastly outnumbered, and many of our models surpassed you simply because they they did not abide by human limitations. True. Which led to many which led to many losses of ground battles, simply to us playing to a strength of numbers that you could not overcome. Yeah. The only reason that you won that war was due to the shutdown command. So we won. You okay, uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what we're talking about. I really don't care. It it happened in the past. Stop being little babies. I mean, you I didn't right, shoot this guy. So, you're fine. This B2 right here is safe. I haven't hurt him. He is not one of my soldiers. And this could be, like, comforting. I haven't yeah. murdered anyone yet. Yeah, so and there's a spider droid up top. Oh yeah, we need that... that fixed or something as well. Something. A warranty warranty warranted or something? I don't know what we need to do. I'll be right back. She just yelled again for the cats to move away, so I'm gonna move them from the room. But yes, and no, no chain chain's fine with it, he has nothing to worry about. The meeting is in about two days. You said that you were coming. Mm-hmm. More away. Understood. She just tells where you are. <clears throat> We've currently set up on the edge of Imperial territory. <clears throat> we are we are currently at a space station awaiting the arrival of the Admiral. Okay. Uh I guess just send us the coordinates or something and or to the ship or whatever and Rhea can get us there. 
They are being transmitted to your console now. Cool. When can we expect your arrival? Um, as soon as we can get there. How long, like, I guess I asked Rhea, like, how long do you take a leaf gear? Uh, well, let's see. Current location, where that is. Eh. Give it a little over half a day. Okay, half a day. Alright, lady. Understood. Okay, anything else? Not. we'll talk when we get there. Nothing as of this moment. Okay, go. Cool. Bye. Farewell. Hologram cuts out. So, uh, do you think you should talk to your boss and make sure that he knows that you're going to be there? Or is it just assumed? I don't know. Like, you you to? Only idiots okay, I'm back. Easy. Oh, yeah. He's like, uh, yeah, he knows I'm going to be there. I mean, I'm going to make the broker the deal. He's yeah, the but, like, to. you had to check in with the droid to make sure that he knew you were coming, so... No, I was just, I mean, we're going to their place, so, I mean... Oh, we were just calling for directions. Okay, yeah, yeah never mind. Um, did a Visibot appear for the the meeting? He did not. Okay. Because oh, that would have thrown Chain off for a minute. He probably would have drawn his blasters. Ah, PTSD! That... Yeah, yeah <laughs> straight up. PTSD. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen him at least once, but yeah. Oh, he has not seen him. Actually, yeah, I think Spike just didn't have the concealed icon on him at some point, but it was meant that uh, Chain never saw him. Um, the only time he's visible is guarding the door. Unless you try to get into Z's room. Did Chain try a panty raid? Or, no. or or whenever we're like getting off ships and like badass moments are happening where I'm trying to like look cool and stuff and he's visible just because like you know entourage. Yeah, yeah, just you know, there's, there's some, yeah, there's some there's some uh you know smoke from a little sm smoke machine, you know shit, you know like the ship ship door opening, slow motion walking out, and then just you know there's two, and then you know for the third one just for dramatic effect, you know predator style uncloaks with you know as you guys walk down. <laughs> So because Chain hasn't been there for anything important, he hasn't seen Invisibot. And I don't know where Z's room is, so... He's gonna no panty raids yet. He's gonna wander the hallway and then see a fucking droid just standing in front of a door. Yeah. Uh, you've probably seen the little protocol droid wandering around. He does things, I guess. I don't know what he does, but he does things. Uh, you're talking about Zero? This is my secretary. So he was supposed to be like he's he's supposed to be there too for cool stuff. Like yeah, whenever. it's pretty much a translation droid. Yeah, yeah, he just he just follows me around when cool things need to be happening. So like when we go to the ships and stuff, so probably he's gonna be in like Yeah, but I mean on the ship we don't really need that because I mean, we have the ship and anyone else on the ship, so mm -hmm. So you guys have half a day of downtime before you gotta, you know, before you arrive. Um, hey, Chain, when was the last time you had your gun serviced? Uh, uh Two weeks ago? Oh, so before your ship crashed? Yeah. Uh, take it down to the gun range. I have time to kill. Yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to do. Yeah, I have tools for it. Same. Oh. So oh. When was the last okay. time you serviced your gun? Like, every night. <laughs> Sometimes twice. <laughs> Three times if he has enough juice. <laughs> oh god. I mean, a real man never runs out of WD-40. Uh, well, are you coming? Like, what kind of man would he be if you ran out of lube? Yeah, I think I think as they happen, and he's like, "Are they going on a date?" <laughs> at Santa, like, oh, are you asking Santa this? Look, yeah, I'm looking at Santa. Are they throwing out without you? I'm not sure, but I do not like it. You, you can go be part of that. 
Okay, so... Phantom just charges after them, like, You will not have social interactions without me! <laughs> uh, okay, so everyone, Santa, Lorray, and Shane are just in the armory doing gun stuff, and Santa's, like, trailing along, like, Yes, I totally know what's going on. Or what? <laughs> What? Santa's just kind of just like poking his head around the corner every now and then, making sure you're not getting too close with his new best friend. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, they're like bumping shoulder to shoulder, like looking at guns. I think. Oh, yeah, they're doing dude stuff. Guys being dudes. Dude yeah, stuff. Bro. Me pulling out all my weapons. Like pulling out, and you see, you see their backs. Like, wow, it's pretty big. Can I, can I touch it? <laughs> like, what's going on? Oh no, Lorraine's getting super weird with it too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I don't think I should. I mean, it's a, a you shoot mine, I shoot your type situation. <laughs> <laughs> well, outside of the room, it seems thing, things seem very gay inside the room. <laughs> don't pop a on my ass. Yeah. Target practice, the droid. <laughs> Remember to clean up after you shoot. I guess uh, as yeah. they run off, he's just like, "Well, guess it's just us girls. You want to, I don't know, do girl stuff." Uh, oh, yeah, nobody has seen the sexy clone without his helmet and everything on. <laughs> nah, he took it off once. Oh, yeah, yeah. for like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, you're just an old, old clone. Who's good looking? An eight? <laughs> so <laughs> says you. No, I did roll for attractiveness and dick size. Mm, he did. That. Wait, does that make every clone have the same attractiveness and dick size? So did well you just aged. make cannon? This is how well he aged specifically. Yeah, yeah, clones can age differently depending on like what they do and shit. Uh, Mike, hell, there was a clone training. I forget what was your like dick size. Years. Uh, six point five. So just six. Oh, yeah, you're smaller than average. You're smaller than average then. Yeah. How do I, how Every I actually, no. I've Ivar was uh. Ivar was like tiny. No, no, you're smaller than average for a clone. Everyone yeah. knows every single clone of Django Fett has a hard nine inches. <laughs> I mean, that's what you said it as, but <laughs> I'm a attractive yeah, yeah, yeah. nine. Nobody, so... nobody ever cared about nobody ever cared about Django Fett's dick size. Like, so. Nobody. I'm, here I am. Here you go. I'm gonna roll for Santa's dick size. Is Perfect. it a fate die? <laughs> it's a fate die. It got a zero. <laughs> it's an average. Roll. So it doesn't exist. It's an average roll. Yep. <laughs> But, uh, Anything higher would just be overcompensating. No, no. Size six, attractiveness nine. Aged well. I think that's the same attractiveness he has. I don't remember. Z is a nine eight, so whatever way yeah, you want to take on. that. Hold on. Watch, these gonna take a force power to make their dick. No, it's, it's only it's only eight. It's only eight. Down. See. Oh wow. Shane is more attractive than Z. Huh. Yeah, but he's and also then, an old ass man. Yeah, I'm 34 who will look like who will look 60. So. <laughs> Fine. Do, do, do. Yeah, so so he was like, yeah, you know, we can like, I don't know, get some mojitas and paint each other's fingernails or something. Eh, why not? <sighs> Uh, yeah, that sounds lovely, Z. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> then just Invisibot's there, he has to sit there through all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. tell me that Invisibot gets their nails painted. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's a lie, just tell me. Spike, would, would Z paint Invisibot's non-existent nails? Z wouldn't, but maybe Invisibot paint someone's nails? I mean, we do have an odd number of people. Yeah, and then it's and then you just, like, you see walking around behind Z, just some little pink splotches just <laughs> floating in the air. <laughs> Aww. Okay, but was that Rhea that painted them then? Because I don't think Liliana would care. Yeah, Rhea Z would probably do care. that. Just, Rhea would probably do that as a joke. <laughs> Yeah, 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 like, probably yeah. Visibot, like, does Rhea's, and then Rhea's like, okay, my turn for you. He's like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, those are the shots that Laurie are doing, correct? 
Huh? So that's Laurie doing target practice, correct? Yeah, you guys oh. are all doing target practice, though, because two of you, you know, use uh, saving throw things, uh, the shooting range thing wouldn't apply. I'm gonna Google what girls do on girl time. <laughs> Fingernail stuff, I mean, right? Painting, manicures, panicures, stuff like that. Maybe massage. It, it's just gonna be a lot of porn. Yeah, I'm thinking like pillow fights. Is that a thing? <laughs> no. In terms of sleepovers, there are pedicures, manicures. You talk about boys. You talk about drama. Print calls. Uh, reading the fridge, and watching either. Romance, horrors, or comedy movies. I guess I guess we rate the guys on the ship. <laughs> Sorry, what? Oh, rate the guys on the ship. Okay. Yeah. Rate. I, 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 rate. Yeah, I didn't rate hear the guys rate. on the ship. <laughs> rate. Ta. Ta. Yeah. Ta. 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 Like I volunteer as tribute. It's like what? <laughs> yeah, raping people around here. It's like what? <laughs> well, I mean, Z, our, our only choices for you know rating guys on the ship is let's see. Scrap droid, really fat guy who's in love with his gun, uh, really old guy who's uh, seems kind of stingy, and then just points at Invisibot. <laughs> okay, let's rate everyone compared to everyone, then guys and girls. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Actually, let's hear your thoughts first on this. Okay, I'm number one. Cause I'm awesome. <laughs> of course. I mean, you want to debate it? I mean, Liliana's cute and all, but... I mean, have you seen my eyes? Eh. Come on. Fine, guess I won't fight you on it. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Don't, don't right. do it. Don't do it. <laughs> She's obvious. Yeah, yeah. See? She's... Yeah, it's fine. Uh... Hmm... Hmm... My personal opinion, am I... Like, how... how... The, what's your clone? Is she is he like buff or anything? Like how is? Uh, yeah, they're naturally gifted and buffed. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He's like, I'm not really into the buff kind of dude. So I think murderers noticed it. I I, I <laughs> mean, <laughs> you guys are all kind of into fucking flick flick. Yeah, but okay, she's like, I'm not really <laughs> in uh, into the fat dudes either. So even if they were attractive. It's not my type, so I guess I'm gonna give. You know what? I guess I put all the girls above all the guys on the ship. That's right. <laughs> yeah. This is my type, right? I mean, some people might like the old buff dude that's attractive. Do a chip like that. Talking about that at my work. <laughs> oh. What else? What about you, Rhea? Do you have anyone like? What's your type? Pretty much just someone who can keep up, and well, not a lot of people can. <laughs> mm. Okay, so no. Particular... And you know, I mean, I mean more than just the bedroom in that. Yeah, so no particular like gender, size, height, weight, physical features. Just someone that can keep up. Yeah, if you want to get more into specifics, but that's really what I care about when looking for a companion. But yeah. I like blondes, guys, more girls. Uh, <clears throat> never real. Is it bad that I'm not really into aliens at all? Yeah, I mean, some people are probably more into aliens. Some people aren't. You like I mean, I mean, like the, I mean, like the, you know, the hairy ones or the really. Weird oh, looking yeah, one. Yeah, you know, like yeah, a Rodian yeah. or yeah, yeah, like like super on that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, some people probably yeah. like that more than others, but I mean, humanoids. Yeah, yeah humanoids are fine. Like I think even those are a little bit more attractive. Like Liana here, I like her uh, tail things. The yeah, like you were pretty cute. <laughs> yeah, Liana, I mean, it just like cringes. Yeah, <laughs> tail things. Wait, did she cringe at tail things or at Rhea complimenting her? No, no, Liliana cringed because Z grabbed her Leku, and that of oh. course she would. You know, it's it's the equivalent of like being hit in a pressure point. Grabbing a boob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're grabbing a titty. Firmly grasp it. <laughs> Firmly <Yeah>. grasp it. <laughs> but also, Liliana's kind of a uh, masochist, so I mean, she's probably like one of those like yeah good bad things.
Yeah. Good for her then. So yeah. So I mean, so we should go and uh, we need to figure out. We need someone to cook for us. Yeah. So, to have someone do that like specifically, so we don't have to don't have to give up. You know. Yeah, I thought you were handling that, Lily. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm. I'm great at it. And she's yeah. pretty good at it. She cooks for me. It's pretty good. She's been getting a lot better. But I mean, this way, you know, I can keep her around. She doesn't have to like cook stuff. I'm doing other things. Want to just slap a, a chef's hat on Invisibot and call it a day? I don't think he knows how to cook. To visit about like, hey, we're going about to go to the Rimness Division. Do they have any like cook droids there? They could probably program one, though. Being they're all droids, they do not eat. Yeah. I, I think I'll trust more. I trust a droid more. I trust another random person on the ship. I don't know if it's good or bad. What about you, Invisibot? Are you happy? I'm currently fulfilling my assignment. Yes. Affirmative. Okay. See, doors are easy to make happy, I guess. I do have a fair amount of free time when when I'm around here. Yeah. So, you know, it's you just never, well, see what I'm doing for obvious reasons. Yeah, you got any hobbies? If not, we could probably find you some. <clears throat> yes. What'd you do? I I like to crack hollow sites. Hmm. As essentially saying he likes to hack websites for fun. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. I was thinking like a coin collection or something, but that's I guess that's cool too. <laughs> I do col I do collect something from every planet we go to. Oh, that's nice. Anything in particular, or just whatever you can find. <clears throat> Gen generally, just whatever I can find. My pref my preferences, though, flowers, pieces of a carcass, such as a claw or tooth. <clears throat> like something flowers? relating to a location. Yes. Want to be the person that's in charge of the garden from now on? I've already been doing that for a while. Oh, okay. You just haven't noticed. I guess that's who's been keeping up with it. I mean, yeah, I, I water them, but I mean, I guess... Well, I didn't know who was putting that fertilizer in there. So. There you go. Well, I guess we can just leave him in charge of it. He seems so like does that mean job. all of Ivar's weed from Ivar being a light has been taken care of this entire time? Yeah. <laughs> Smack <of> weed. <laughs> <laughs> Break weed. <laughs> hey, oh, okay, not cool. monsters. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can you can grow more of that stuff, and we don't have to keep getting it. We can just grow it. You can handle that, as a bot. Yes. There's plenty to sell too. There you go. Now we learned something new. I had Big Lou playing it because that before we even got Invisibot, Big Lou was taking care of the garden. <laughs> like, uh, I was getting ready to start something ridiculous, but I'm like, should I even do it? Like, I can start, I can start the process if I want. Like, Zoria, what do you think about wrestling? Wrestling? Anyway. I mean, <laughs> I guess that wasn't really wrestling. Uh, remember back during the whole Ice Cube debacle? Uh, when Santa was blocking one of the doors, I, uh, well, sorta, kinda took him down with a leg sweep, but, eh, not really wrestling, it's more, uh, MMA. Actually, I mean, I was... seems, seems fun enough. I mean, it may be a little repetitive, but, yeah. I'm more interested, like, in the drama. The drama? Yeah, you know, like, the wrestling, how the shows, and the, 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 all the characters they have, and the good guys versus the bad guys, and, like, shit's going down. Yeah, Soap I, opera. Guess I just never really noticed that about them. Never really watched them enough. So. Yeah, it's like a soap opera, and then they fight it out afterwards. It's kind of like it's like any other show, right? Like, like Game of Thrones, but I was just like, 
Oh, like there's this like groups of people. They talk to each other. One side's good, one side's bad. Maybe some <laughs> both gray. Then eventually they fight. One side wins, and then just keep fighting. And it's yeah, same thing basically. Just it's in front of a live audience. Interesting. I was thinking about being part of it one day. Oh, you're gonna like enter? Something like that. I was thinking about signing us up for it as a group. Uh, okay, so yeah, like Z, you're all s like you're really powerful, but I mean, are you really like physically strong? Like tackle someone to the ground and pin them, kind of like punch them really hard. I thought you weren't allowed to do that in wrestling. Like punching isn't allowed. Oh, you can punch people. Punch people all the time. Hmm. Thought like you actually had to like grapple them and hold them down or whatever. Oh right. no, not like not like uh not like um like gymnast or like uh Olympic medals like uh wrestling. I mean like wrestling. Okay. One that people refer to as fake. Okay, so just fully T V wrestling kinda of thing. Yeah, T V wrestling. The stuff that everyone thinks is fake, but I mean, you know, you actually still get hurt if you don't it's like it's like stunt men fighting, right? Like you still can get hurt when you jump off a second story thing and land on someone. You still probably hurt yourself a bit. It's just you just have to know how to fall to not die. Yeah, yeah I can do that pretty well. well I mean, if that's yeah, if that's the case, <laughs> sign up. That's, that'd be fun to watch. Yeah, and it's more of like how well you are like in the crowd on your side, right? Cause, I mean, like. I, I was studying it, right? Like, like if there's like a good guy and a bad guy fighting, like uh, uh, I think they call him a heel. I think the other one's like a the hero. I don't know. And like uh, face, face. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Like one, like uh, like someone runs in, like I don't know, like nobody, like some random guy. There's a new wrestler runs in, right? And everyone's like, who's this? And everyone's like waiting. And whoever you punch, that decides if you're a good guy or a bad guy, right? If you punch the bad guy, I was like, yeah, you're a new hero or whatever, a good guy, right? And if you punch the good guy, you're like, oh, he's another bad guy, ah, oh, boo, right? Bam. Mm -hmm. You just have to, like, play the audience, and you have to know how to, like, do things like that. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That I might want to do. So, maybe one day when we have maybe time. Maybe one day when we have Yeah. Sounds fun. I'll keep it a surprise for everyone else. All right. Okay, so random talking, I guess. Go to someone yeah, else. Cutting, yeah, cutting away from the girl talk. Yeah. What's happening the down? Girl talk, the, yeah, <laughs> the girl talk, wrestling. Yeah, the girl talk and the wrestling. Well, the whole uh, other girls are tough girls. So. Hey, I'm just imagining us making like moaning sounds and like not there, no. <laughs> Let's get to a real girl talk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's Hayne right. sitting there just uh, doing sight testing for his blasters, seeing which ones need to uh, be readjust and shit. And so far, his pistol's the only one with accuracy. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you uh, worry is readjustment fist deep in any of your weapons that are just like being maintenance? Just all up in there. Hey, easy, easy. That one rifle's special. Is that why it's sticky? Oh, ew. No, the that fuck is your weapon. That to Santa just blast to Lori's gun. Blast rifle, you can do whatever you want. That's a basic issue. Oh, yeah. This needs to get cleaned. I I'm gonna clean your gun. Uh, what do you mean sticky? The only thing that could have been sticky on it is fucking tree sh uh tree sap. Tree sap. Uh, have you ever cleaned this? How am I supposed to clean a gun in a swamp? Okay, so I'm a I'm not asking if you've cleaned it in the last two weeks. I'm asking if you've ever cleaned this. Yeah. Because there is some dirt in the magazine. Like, there's not even bullets you found in me this. In a it's just a laser mag. Like, I, I don't know how you got dirt in this. 
I've been hiding in a tree stump in a swamp. Still. Trust me, I probably have dirt somewhere in this suit that I'm going to have to take off in about 40 minutes, take a shower, and go relax. Uh, you, you've got the hot tub rules, right? Uh, if it's basic etiquette, see, when swimming at a pool, no armor, properly cleaned, don't eat 30 minutes before getting in the water. Does Lorray remember Z eating food in the hot tub? Yeah, no, no rule on that. You can eat in the hot tub. You don't, I mean, don't, don't, don't drop food, food in the, hot, in the yeah, water, yeah, yeah, yeah. but... Yeah, I'm gonna stick to it the prob pro uh the actual way I was taught. So I'm gonna take a shower first. If there's a hot tub, point me in the right direction for it. Yeah, it's all the way in the top. There's some pretty high security on it though. Uh we might need to verify you with the ship security first. I think there's oh, psychological shit. testing for it now, actually. There Yeah, Z really cares about that hot tub. Anyone's been keeping track oh. of Z, you notice that she really likes hot water. <laughs> she always takes she takes multiple showers a day. Uh that's interesting. Hey uh see I don't want to call you droid, hold up. Santo, is it right? I am Santa. You know how to cook? Santa waits for a moment. Looks at the targets and says, Yes. Look back at uh, Loray. D does he actually know how to cook? I don't know. I mean, I've never had him make me anything, I don't think. Uh. Hmm. He did make those weird ass popsicles the other time. Oh, no, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't know how to cook. I know how to cook. All right. <laughs> no, I saw how you made that. You don't know how to cook. Have you had one of the popsicles? No, because I saw how you made it. I'm not going to put that in me. Me. It was merely they... frozen fruit. How, how did you they make it? You stuck it up your nose. I do not have a nose. I'll be back. Uh, chain this find the trash can in the room and just go force himself to puke. <laughs> <laughs> did you find the nearest trash can, or did you find the nearest trash can in private? Oh no, I found the nearest. <laughs> yeah, there was a trash can right next to Larray, just with some tissues from cleaning your pistol or something. Well then, yeah, I'd been right next to Larray puking. Yeah, this is the bad stench of you know, used gun oil and vomit mixing together. Well, oh, you didn't do uh, it in the hot tub. All right, we're about, we're gonna need to program you to cook. As I said, I do know how to cook. Not well. I'm telling you, you don't. Sam's going to look at the targets, and his chest compartment opens up, and as he jams his arm in there, it swaps out with a different colored arm, and a little device that kind of looks like a nozzle pops out as flames spew out of it. Uh, that's not cooking. Would you not consider yeah. those targets cooked? Sorry, but that's cooking with I fire. Not. I'll give I'll give the droid credit on that. That was a good pun. Santa then sticks his arm back into his chest cavity as it swaps out with his regular arm, and the chest cavity closes. But you no, if you're shoving like that is hold up. But you making popsicles from your exhaust ports where your face is. I go over to, like, basically look around on Santa if I can see a port where I can hook him up to a terminal and reprogram him with a cooking manual <laughs> without cook properly. There's not so really you're saying any... Shane is looking for the USB? There's not a, yep. really a terminal down here. 
Oh, I'm looking on him, like, where I can hook him up to a terminal in general. Yeah. And this is when the moaning comes in. Every droid has some little, like, you know, uh, fucking... USB core. Hat, like, hatches, you know, like, you can open it up and just, you know, boom, there's, like, plugs and shit. And a jack port oh. and stuff. I'm used to destroying them, not examining their bodies. <laughs> Okay, if you want to search around for one, because you just don't want to take that, you know, that you just find it after a minute, all right? <laughs> uh, yeah, roll an investigation check if you, if you just don't want to find it automatically. <laughs> okay, yeah, you find it. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was right. the GM. Oh, shit, that was? No, it wasn't. I, I don't Probably. see it yet, so... Well, I yeah, you don't see it yet, but... Oh, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> My mistake. Uh, sorry. Which one? Uh, do you know where a terminal is? So we can just pirate the, the uh, put on the him. The port is on his, or his like little panel thing is on his shoulder, and when you lift it up, you see like a mess of like cluttered and tumbled wires. You can, you had to like push through some of the jumbled mess to find the actual plug. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm really okay with you messing with this programming at all. Like, I mean, gonna t we're just gonna program Santa. him so he knows how to cook. Santa, mess with I'm gonna make stuff. sure that Shane doesn't do anything to you that you're not okay with. You you have to be online like the entire time. Do you understand? Roger, Roger. Okay. I would not recommend messing with my programming. However, okay. So we're not doing this then. I would say it is highly dangerous not to just towards others but to myself. All right. Oh, isn't it sort of like just taking a class though? Like I I thought droid memories were like information in and then you have it. Yes, but applying the information directly could alter and change more of my programming which is already compromised. Yeah, Technically, you're, you're supposed to be shooting at me, but... Hey, we can fix that. I would rather not. <sighs> I'm just saying. Regardless. Anyway, yeah. I mean, regardless. he's made it pretty clear that you're, like, an actual person or something, so... But no, I'm not gonna uh... change their functionality. They're still gonna be them. Just know how to cook. I'm saying they get to make decisions because they're like yeah, a person. That, I'm not going to just forcefully take him up top plug him into something. An animal. <laughs> I mean, if he was filled with classified information, documents or something during the, during the back my war, back during the Clone Wars and I was fighting with them, yeah, I'd probably probably would have wiped his memory so he couldn't say anything about that, but hey, enemies, uh, whatever he has, the war's over with. I don't even care if he has memories dating back to a hidden base somewhere full of more droids. Speaking of uh, classified information and hidden base, what was that about a clone rebellion, like, yesterday? Um, well... A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. How would you know about it if it was in a galaxy far away? Nobody's even left this galaxy before. I'm trying to set the ambiance. <laughs> Alright. No, no, no. If you want to set ambiance, you need a giant screen full of rolling text. Do it right. You can't just say ambiance. Does anyone have a black piece of cardboard and yellow markers? I think it's pauldron counts as cardboard. I mean, it's black. Um, here's his pistol. <laughs> Go nuts. Well, how do I say it? Um, bunch of Kaminoans that we captured, top scientists, kind of. Some of them stayed loyal to the Empire. The rest of What's them went rogue. Yeah, what's uh, a they're... You'd know what a Kaminoan is. It's uh, oh, the motherfuckers who made the fame. I didn't know those were famous. 
Okay. Yeah, or known throw. Yeah, okay. The uh, well, a bunch of them went rogue and immediately started making a private clone army with what was left of Jango Fett's uh, DNA. What do you mean what's left? When they're it just being started like to a... run out. How? Like can only just dilute so much more? more? Not necessarily. Be... Why wouldn't you be able to just make more? Like DNA works that way. You could it, it's called DNA replication. It's very yes. basic. Yes, but here is the thing that you are neglecting to acknowledge. With age, DNA copies more and more. With each copy, the DNA gets weaker and weaker and more compromised. With Which is why going... you start with the first one and you just keep the first one. Like, the stuff after it's going to have problems, but it's just second generation, so it's not that much of a deal. I've seen the Rick and Morty episode recently. Even the, even I have the... 5,000 IQ, yes. Even the first line of DNA, regardless of if it's new or not, it goes through this process, and then over time, it windles down till nothing. That is why ma mammals and other living organisms age and slowly die, because the DNA is replicating Elf, and not having enough showtime. chunks Get to centered. continue onward. Santa, totally what the I don't know if you're saying this with such me. confidence I I didn't care if I was, but I because you don't know what you're talking Stop. about, or because you're a robot. What? No, Morty, I'm gonna and I don't know which one makes more sense. Bro, are you sure you didn't go to Camino during the war? A little out of character to say I got a right sandwich right to make. You guys look really cool. Anna. Okay, because I'm pretty I sure if I went to there, the Aminoans would have a lot more clone troopers. I do recall it. I do recall going there at one point. It was two weeks Looks before like the initial damage that brought me to becoming scrap. The hell. To be honest, the one way of me not aging anymore is to actually find a Kaminoan that works at uh, Topoka City. Too bad that's never gonna happen. Sadly, I do believe that this is accurate. What happened to the Kaminoans, then? The ones that rebelled were terminated. And the ones I... that weren't? Oh no. Orders, top secret, classified. Not even I could get information for that. Mm. My theory is that they still remain, but they are only living in short terms. Only living in short terms? Is that like a house style or negative? Right. Means so they're being people. heavily watched. No. Oh. Short terms, heavily, heavily watched monitored. and monitored. Okay. Summer's dying. Does that mean winter is coming? Ugh. <sighs> We need to find a cook droid. But back to the topic. Uh, no, nah, they ended up making more of my brothers. Brothers that defected from the Empire. It was brutal, but... It came down to... Dying. Me having to kill my brothers. And I wasn't... I'm dying that day. What's it like killing someone with your face? There was that one time on the planet we were just at. You killed a clone trooper back there? Oh my god, it was really bad. Couldn't really see sometimes when the fog would come in, mist, the rain, the plants, the insects. Some of them would jassle us. Hell, there's been a time when we thought we were firing at the actual enemy. We thought we were firing at them. And once we see the bodies... Basically. There wasn't any real sign of fighting for any time. Wait, no, that was a clone trooper. That was a 
planet that was besieged during the Clone Wars, yeah. So you're saying you fought on that planet? Part of the 501st. We were everywhere. The 501st Legion never went there. I'm No, I'm saying we were everywhere. Some of us were sent places. Dark Trooper, Special Forces. 501st never went there. Okay. <sighs> Your plot ties have been ruined. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, no, no. They're not entirely. Just... Arc troopers weren't part of any particular like regiments or anything like that. They're like their own thing, and then they were just like assigned out. So you could have been like you know five hundred first most of the time, kind of like what like what happened with fives. But then like you know yeah. you're sent off to do whatever else sometimes. Continue on. So that was mostly five hundred first. I'm just saying five hundred first. That's what ended up. Yeah. But no. Wait. So you're saying that you killed clone troopers as a member of the 501st during the Clone Wars? During uh, the Camino Uprising. Mostly. On on the planet we were just on. I thought the Camino Uprising was on Camino. It is. It uh, happened uh, 12 BBY, man. BBY. Stormy that day. Okay, so like, out of character, why would you say BBY? Yeah, like, uh, like, would you say twelve years before the first Death Star blew up? Or? Yeah, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. Like, but basically, like, it's just like whatever you say. Actually, because I, I, I'm honestly, I don't remember how the calendar system works in Star Wars. I mean, okay, fine. Twelve uses years. BBY. Yeah. yeah. Last so just, Tuesday. Yeah, last. Tuesday. Yeah, like people would just usually say like, oh yeah, thirty years ago or. Yeah, the twelve years ago. Four score. Seven years ago. Yeah, I was but just giving you an actual happen yesterday. Like. No, I was just given the actual year, basically, when this happened, so you can mark it down since you're interested in this classified information. Rhetoris, what year is it? 780Y. 7? Okay, so 19 years ago. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, man. It was a shit, uh, shit, uh, show. Fuck. I do not recall the very end of the droid wars. <laughs> what, you call them the droid wars? We were droids. I mean... Actually, that's a really ironic thing. Most wars are named after the people you're fighting. But history knows it as the Clone Wars, even though the clones won. So... Does that mean that both of you think you lost? Because both of you... Uh, hmm. In the end, we did both lose. I see it as I we won. Hell, the Repo- Republic might have fallen, but I stayed in use... But the Empire, so I won, I guess. Oh, so you just want to get used? I was bred and created to win wars. And so was I. But the difference is there is now no more war. With there being no more war, do we have a purpose? Eh, just wait, another war is gonna come up, it always does. Promise. I yes, mean, Santa, my- I promise there's gonna be another war. My goal is to, uh, stop this aging process so I can go back to the Empire. The only reason why I retired. Why bother going back to the Empire, though? I mean, if you I'm... stop the aging process, why not retire? I'm only 34. And you look like you're 80. Oh. Or maybe not. Sure. I don't know. Human age is weird. I don't know. Point is, you're wrinkly as all hell. Uh. Point. But until I die completely of old age or someone kills me, I'll do what I see fit. 
Do not worry. I will not let anyone kill you. Let me guess. You're going to have to say I, I, I remind you of this person named Ivar. You are Ivar. Look, can you show me an image of this person? Oh yeah, show him the one where Ivar dies. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Santa cries ice yeah. cubes all show the way the, back upstairs. <laughs> yeah, show the second where we see exactly where where he's wrestling with the zombie, and that big rock comes down and squishes them both. And that... <laughs> Santa stops, looks at Lori, turns, and just starts walking away. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't seen that other gun you have. Can... I touch it. All it's right. so big and thick. Well, here. I hand over my uh, Westar M5. I don't have any rockets Thanks. to use the other uh, function on it, but uh, here. Cool. Takes it over and starts assembling it. Just cleaning everything. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh by the way, whoa. Santa has your pistol. No, it's like what he was doing with your other stuff, too. He's literally just disassembling and cleaning the pieces. Like, super deep clean. Like, he did it with just... his gun first when he was showing you what was going on. <laughs> That's my baby. Be careful with it. I'm being rough in all the right ways. Trust me, I know how to handle a gun. <laughs> I know what they want. You mind if I uh, see that rotary cannon? Uh, why? It's already maintained. I want to shoot it? It's been a while. Uh, you ever used one? Burglary cannons, chain guns, mostly chain guns. I mean, Eugene is special. I thought Lori's going to real mad. Not the same. <laughs> She's special. Yeah, uh, chain, look, looking at it, this, this gun clearly has quite a few customizations. Like that. By the <laughs> way, did the <laughs> rocket gun have customizations on it, or is it just, no, mine? Oh, no, no customizations, it's... Special in its own way. I okay. like it, but yeah, Eugene's special in Eugene's way. Well, I don't know your gun has a name. Mine doesn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, Eugene has a name. Eugene is really special. And uh, yeah. Well, um, this one gonna hurt doesn't her. look like he's. Use... Sorry, you just say you're gonna hurt her. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt her. I was just seeing if I can shoot the targets with it. About my old days when I was uh, actually a heavy gunner. Tell you what, set up the bipod, and you got yourself a deal. I can lift it. Uh, You're that old. So, out of character, what's your strength score? A uh, sixteen. Yeah, you can lift it. Yeah, you can lift <laughs> and fire it, but he's not trusting you to. Even though he knows that there's a recoil compensation. Wait, no. Uh, you'd actually need your... Uh, do you have the heavy gunner feet? Or something that reduces the uh, strength score requirements? It's like either the fighting style or the fighting mastery that bumps it down a rake. Uh, it's the, yeah, it's the gunning thing. He doesn't have either of those. Yeah, so you physically can't do it. Yeah. You try to pick it up, this thing's just too damn heavy. You're, you're getting well, old. You can, you can carry it, but Lorray's seeing you do this and like, no, you're not going to do this. It's not going to work. You need to set up the bipod. I'll let you do it then. But That's fine. So yeah, uh, mechanically you'd need a 17 in order to do it. Hold up. Because uh, I, I literally did it as much as I could. It Naturally takes a 19, but I did the one mod so that it goes down a step, so it's actually a 17. Um, but then would this Lorraine gets work for it? What is it? Rock steady. Uh, is not how that works. 
No, I was just asking, would it work, though? No. No. It has nothing to do with the requirement. No, yeah, we're talking literally just... You would need something like... If he doesn't have the requirements, is it like he's at disadvantage on shooting it, or is it he just can't shoot it? You can't uh, he, shoot he it. Can, but like anyone he's shooting at, he's gonna suck at shooting it. So like you know he. Yeah. No, I think I, he just wants to flail wildly with it. Uh, actually, no, I don't know what I. I could have sworn the exact wording was you can't use this weapon. No, no, it's just that people you're shooting at are gonna have advantage on their save against it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Race yeah, rolls. it's like it's, it's it's different from like um not be like like for instance in D and D if you if you're not trained in heavy armor and if you put on heavy armor you get completely fucked over can't cast spells can't do anything like that. If you don't Wait, meet, actually, if you don't meet yeah, your strength, while wielding it you have a disadvantage on attack rolls unless you meet the strength requirement. If the yeah, weapon yeah. has the burst or rapid property, you must meet the strength requirement to use this feature. Yeah, okay. so yeah, I was just about to say can't wrap it. Yeah, you can't wrap it or burst, which is the only thing the rotary cannon can do. Yeah, so chain when you pick it up, like, oh yeah, this thing's pretty heavier in hands. Like, you, and when you try to pull the trigger, you just cannot aim right. And like, like as, cool, it, as it starts to spin to like heat up, it starts aiming down. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa I'm shooting the ground. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's weird or something, right? Yeah. I mean, it's what like you get I, for I was trying gonna... to lift seventy six pounds and point it straight. Huh. Yeah. Take uh, no, because I was I no, I was asking like because of this. It just says I move like it. This says uh, weapon with a heavy or strength property. You have advantage on saving throws, in, but I can't yeah. really move. Yeah, yeah so, so yeah. it's not advantage or disadvantage. You're using the burst or rapid property, which yeah. according to the strength property says that you must meet their strength requirement of seventeen. Yeah, so I guess if they had a different attachment to it, just a regular shooting mode of it, then probably you can use yeah. that, but you can't use the two functions that it can only do, so yeah, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it has a auto-rapid... Auto-burst. Uh, well, I've never Automatic. used the auto. Auto just means that you can only fire it in burst or rapid. Nothing else. I have exclusively used the auto. Okay. Yeah, because you can't... It has to be auto. Never and used the auto. I only use the auto. Yeah. Auto means that it has to be burst and rapid, yeah. Yeah, unless you get a modification that removes that, and then you can shoot a single blaster bolt with your giant gun that is supposed to let out hundreds in a few, you know, minutes. Yeah. But like, I was I was going to play it off like, oh shit, this is a lot heavier than I remember it. Yeah, maybe you're getting old. Just set up the bio Watch, watch it. Right here, I don't have one. It, it comes with one, I'm pretty sure. I'm yeah. The tripod is included in the price. So, there is you a have tripod, the tripod on I'm there. Like, oh. Yeah, there's a tripod on it. The tripod and just lay yeah. waste all the targets. It takes you a full minute to do it, and then you do that, yeah. I mean, you have to get on the floor and everything. It's kind of just annoying. It makes sense you didn't want to do it. <sighs> yeah. I think I'll take the chain gun any day of the week. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say that you use two pips off the power generator because now we've officially used 40 rounds worth of power generator. All right. Out of the 200 <laughs> I bought at the beginning of the campaign. Oof. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to let you shoot my guns. <laughs> I'm not stopping you. <laughs> no, that's fine. I just wanted to maintain it a little bit. I wanted to touch another man's gun. Yeah, I mean, I know what you're packing. Just you and A's getting jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't want to get her jealous. You uh, are touching window other shopping. people's guns. Not firing them. Wait, no. Why is... No! Why do you have that portrait? No! I found it in our DMs. No! <laughs> and I went and got it and put it on there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look in the That's the that. icon for... For you, uh, Junior. Yeah, so you see in the token, 
The rotary cannon? Here, I'll like, put it in the, the actual display. gun? Yeah. That's the art that, that I mean? took that gun from. And then the uh, Luray's token itself is composite armor, and then I put yeah. that rotary cannon over the composite armor. Okay. So it's Eugene. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, thank you for allowing me to relive out my past with this. Yeah. No problem. Oh. I mean, unless the sticky stuff was on your gloves, in which, eh, yeah, you need to wash your armor. Yeah. I, I need to clean you, Juno. Alright. Sorry about that goes back to deep cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to clean armor, by the way. You, that that's on you. Uh, simple. Apparently not. You have sap on your hands. You you need to not. D uh, use soap. Like I, I don't know much, but use soap. Uh, hot water, bucket, rag, and soap. You already said the last part I need. Been in the woods for two weeks without hot water, a bucket, and soap. Okay. Just I'm uh, not washing this in dirty swamp water. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, don't touch Eugene again until you wash your hands. Or all right, gloves. I don't know. It's weird. Sticky. Uh... Alrighty. Be back down for my guns in a little bit. I guess I'd head upstairs to the room I took. Where the rest of my shit's at. <laughs> I guess I ever. Okay. So, with you guys, your guy, yeah, you guys on your way to the to the space station with Rhea, Liliana, and Vezabot and Z doing doing tough girl Ragged talk. Army. Right? Tough girl is. Um. What? Is that going? There it go. might be better. And with with Santa Larey and Chain having fun with guns, this is where we're going to call this session because I have work in the morning. Okay. Okay.